Hey, Ether Broke, Marley, and Jack Liberson. I was streaming on Twitch, but then I saw some frame drops happening on that end, so I decided I'd just stream on YouTube. Um, for whatever reason, my internet has not been handling the double streaming very well the past week or so. And he's got a... <clears throat> yes, uh, so we had the poll in my Discord server to vote on one more low damage weapon to beat the game with. Uh, this is the last time I plan to do something like this. Uh, after this, I mean, there's really nowhere else to go after this because you can't really get much worse than the lawnmower. Um. So stop asking me to do other weapons <laughs> after this. Uh. Hey, Marichon. <clears throat> so I was thinking about it a bit and I decided I'm going to do this on Don't Dig Up. And the reason for that, I'm still going to do it on journey mode to change difficulty. But if I do it on Don't Dig Up, I won't have to use time pausing in order to beat uh, I have Thulu, Skeletron, Mech Bosses, uh, Empress of Light, whatever. Um, now, it does come with a lot of other difficulties, particularly revolving around the lack of lava. Um, but that can be dealt with. Okay, need to make a character. Um, Mon lower. Mon lower. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, oh wait, no, that was classic. I need to be uh, Joni. Hold on, Joni. There we go. And the reason I'm doing it on journey mode is I don't think the wall of flesh is going to be possible um, on any difficulty above classic because it was a very big struggle doing it with a copper short sword. And the copper short sword is much better than the lawnmower. Um, oh god, he's an ugly fuck. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm gonna do a large world. Um. But the excellent part, you gotta mow the lawn on your foam. It's perfect. Makes sense. I uh, don't dig up. And I'm going to make a crimson world. I'm going to do testing with that, Ren. Um, the wiki says the answer is no, but the wiki's information is not always correct on that, so I'm probably gonna try a couple different things that might be able to boost its damage. Um... See if it benefits uh, from anything, um, and see how that goes. But I believe the lawnmower deals fixed classless damage. That's my understanding of it. That's nice, Amirchon. Yeah, challenge seventy is rough. And this time, I am not going to make the mistake of making a corruption world. I will make a crimson world. Unlike Bounty Dynamite only, where I had to foam natural Crimson Mimic spawns to get tanky equipment. So, the first issue is... We are not going to have a lawnmower until we make our way to the Underground Desert and rescue the golfer. Um, how's the game audio, by the way? Is it uh, too quiet? Is it at a good volume? Um, hey, Nekamata. A little quiet? Okay, I can turn it up a little. I'll just increase it a little bit. Oh, you don't have to golf with the lawnmower. Uh, you can buy the lawnmower without having golf score. Pretty sure. I think the golfer always sells it. If not, then we're going to spend a while golfing. Um, uh, volume? Okay. Go to that. Okay. Uh... 
let's get this started. Alright, uh, so cancel Finch, trash, don't need any of this, don't need you, don't need a hammer either. Give me a shot at golf ball straight up to artificially do your golf score. Yeah, hold on. Uh, we still have the extended range thing on. Okay. Uh, spawn rates are fine. God mode off. Uh, time research. Enemy difficulty. Master. Okay. Uh, I need to find where the underground desert is. That is my first priority. Um, until I find where the underground desert is... We are not going to be able to do really anything. Um, the tax collector, the NPC you forget, consistently forget exists. I forget about the... Um, uh, if, we, if we jump. Yo, shit, he's going hard. God damn. Yeah, I forget about the princess a lot, and, um, Santa Claus. Uh, I forget Santa Claus exists a lot. Okay. Well, let's see. This is, don't dig up, it is not get fixed, boy. Um... What's my Rule 34 account? Uh, I don't have a Rule 34 account. I have an OnlyFans. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... Yeah, actually... Yeah, I should build some houses because um, the tax collector is gonna start accumulating money. Uh, what do I wanna build? Let me chop these off first. Oh, I have an idea. It's a potion, orange, apple, no. Not even close, what? Are we looking at the same thing? It's a person, how, how the fuck does this look like a person? What? This looks nothing like a person. What? Pizza tower guy, no. you guys intentionally make bad guesses a fairy no it's not a fairy what lawnmower how the fuck does this look like a lawnmower Gorilla? No! Okay, maybe it'll be obvious once I finish it. A star? No, it's not! How does this look like a skateboard? like Chick-fil-A? 
No. A dog. No. Guys, this is very obviously a turtle. You got the head, you got the shell, you got the four, uh, flippers coming off. It's a turtle! What do you mean, what is that build? That's a fucked up turtle? No, it isn't. That's literally just a turtle. I see turtles all the time. That is a turtle. How the hell? What do you mean, how is that supposed to be a turtle? Look, you have the... Uh, the head. You have the, the, uh, flippers. The shell in the middle. You know? It's just like a turtle. I don't understand how you didn't get that. I guess you guys must live in areas where there aren't really turtles. So you don't see them too often. That must be sad. Turtles are really cool. I like turtles. Electric essence. No Twitch today? No, the stream was not performing well. Um with my internet. You've seen tons of box turtles, none of them look like that? Well it's not a box turtle, it's a slider. How is that? It's a turtle! Why a turtle? What do you mean, why? Isn't that obvious? Yeah, so step one is going to be getting to the underground desert. Now, we don't need a lawnmower for quite a while. Pretty much until we want to fight a boss. We don't need a weapon. We can just avoid things. It's not a problem. Um, but ideally, I would like to find where the underground desert is, at least. Um, and so we'll probably just do some basic exploring. Can make a lawnmower house? Uh, well, we have the lawnmower. I think we'll see plenty of the lawnmower. Nice. The acorns not auto plant on ash grass? No, they do. Is there not enough space vertically? Maybe that was it. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Are you ready for the ever present lawnmower sounds? I don't think I am, no. am you saw you gotta give the shoe a miss that's all right see ya how did that slime get in oh it must have jumped up there i'm sure it'll be fine it's not valid housing shut up yes it is
Yes, it is. Yeah, this is just don't dig up. This is not get fixed, boy. Okay, there we go. Yeah, exactly. Molly got it. Molly knew it was a turtle. Room is too small. Okay, off to, um, uh, I guess just up. Uh, I can get up here pretty easily. This is me in a turtle costume? Yeah, I thought you'd love to see me inside a turtle. Nice turtle, thank you. Okay. No luck with any rope yet. It's unfortunate. My least played class in Terraria? Mage. Not, like, not even close. Mage. Um, I don't think I've ever done a mage playthrough. Like, ever. <laughs> Mage is the best class? Nah. I don't like mage. They smell bad. Okay, um... I have enough cobwebs. If I find the underground desert, I could set up a bed there. I like from best to least. Uh... Ranger melee summoner mage. Okay, if I eat this, if you didn't know, eating food gives you a slight mining buff, so. Ultimate challenge, play mage? I don't think I can do that. Um, Summon a melee range magic. Mage is on the bottom, so that's what's important. Mage, Ranger, Summoner, Melee, Massive L. Smoke Coaster is such a dumbass. Thrower? Thrower doesn't exist. It was never real. You need to wake up. So, um... I'm pretty sure regular Don't Dig Up follows the same world gen logic as the base game. When it comes to the spore bat, demon eye. Um, fuck.
probably dead here. Realistically. Yeah, I'm dead. I, there's nothing I can do against a worm. And I have no way to get back. Lava deals 200 damage and don't take up. Yeah, that's where the don't that's where the 200 damage comes from and get fixed, boy. It comes from don't take up. Oh, there's a chest here. Get fixed, boy has very little um that's unique to it. Can we please EOP in Discord? I'm begging you. Nekomata. Why would you say that? For the worthy? No. For the worthy has regular lava damage. You didn't you didn't have to say those those words. You could have you, you didn't Why? Why? Get up there. Oh, it was over here. When you change the six seeds, make that not complete to cancer to deal with. Yeah, I mean, like for the worthy has the wonderful change of blocks taking half as many hits to break, and there's additional loot. Oh, yeah, free gold. Wait, uh. Wood supplies are running a little low. Uh, I have a... Uh... Okay, we got Vope now, thankfully. Did I have Vope all the time? 388 is a lot. Hmm. I wish there were better ways to go upward. Yes, um... Finding, I think, the... Is that a minecart track? Or is that just... No, that's just something on my monitor. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, Don't Dig Up follows regular world gen logic with the placement of the snow biome, ice biome, and underground desert. Which is to say, uh, it should be on the same side as the jungle. But indie games where I play that don't appear on my channel. Um... I don't know. Uh, is Factorio an indie game? I play Factorio with friends sometimes. Let me get some clay. I don't know how long it'll be till we kill a boss. Um, to start farming things. You count subs as friends. You lost your hardcore, get fixed for earlier, like 10 hours in. Damn, that sucks. What kills you? Ooh, emerald. A crawdad, it went through a one block gap. Am I actually doing this? Yes. I mean, I'm doing it right now. But... Okay, good. I was waiting for the day bloom to uh, bloom. I want the seeds.
funny. Never cease to horrify you. I will take that as a compliment. Why am I digging up? Uh, I'm an anarchist. I don't do well with rules. Wonder how long it'll take for us to get a lawnmower. Uh, I wonder if that's a mimic. It would be awkward if it was. Pot slimes are annoying. I don't like pot slimes. Mm. No, it's real. Hunter potion. That is going to be good. Uh, for once we get to the underground desert. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not like a big priority. Um, getting a weapon is not going to significantly change my ability to interact with the world. Um... Because the lawnmower sucks ass, and having it is not going to change my ability to move around very much. Uh, but I would like to get it, so we're trying to locate the desert. Hey, Zalousy. I mean, like, life crystals are probably a higher priority, and better mining gear and things like that. Things that actually provide good, tangible benefits, but we do need to get the lawnmower at some point. Because we don't need a weapon until we go to fight a boss. Anything before then, we can just make our way through avoiding things. Uh, I... Getting my ass sucked by a lawnmower sounds painful. I don't think lawnmowers really suck. They uh, usually, like, grind. They just go... <laughs> And then shoot out the blades of grass, you know? Mm. I think I have enough stuff for an anvil. Hmm. Amethyst. What are those sunflowers? Young uh, desert, but I don't think this is the underground desert. I'll have to check. It might just be a regularly spawning desert at the um Let's see. It would be convenient if this was the underground desert. Oh it is the underground desert. There's sandstone. Nice. I think this is the underground desert. Water leaf. I would like to bloom. Whoops. Oh, I guess not. Okay, light crystal. We're not quite high enough, but yeah. I'm gonna locate the golfer. Ooh, chest. Mason swiftness potion. That's all right. Uh, ant lion. Let me just go up here. Some more emeralds is good. I think we already had a couple. Hmm. wonder how long it'll take to get up to um, the proper part of it. Dead world undergrowth doesn't start to the upper half of the world. Hopefully that won't happen here. Eh, I mean, I know this is the right spot. I'm pretty sure. Because I don't think sandstone would spawn um, if it wasn't. So as long as I know where to dig up at. Most fucked up world gen you've ever seen. 
Uh, I don't know. I... The most fucked up wilton I've ever seen are the ones that I made myself. Uh... Okay. I would like to get this water leaf when it blooms. Um... Or if I happen to get a stack of regrowth or something. Oh, whoops. Wasn't paying much attention. That's fine. We know where to go, so it's not too much of an issue. And we have the path built. Uh, we could actually deposit some stuff in chests now that we picked up a couple. Have we played a Fallout game before? I played New Vegas for a couple hours, and that's about it. make some storage down here. Okay, uh, let me just put blocks in here for now. Clay, ash, ash wood, dirt trap, stone, dirt, and let me also, um, if I can, uh, make a furnace, and then I could save by just buying an anvil. Uh, let me sell this mace. Buy a piggy bank, some torches, get away to restock, get a bug net just in case we come across something. Four gold for a mining helmet, huh? We could probably get up to that. Uh, could we? Buy the anvil. Uh, 261. If I sell gemstones, I could. Uh, a little bit more? Stars. There we go. My opinion on cat boys or cat girls. Oh, pretty good. Okay, uh, I have enough for a silver pickaxe. That'll help out with mining a lot. Put this table down here. Uh, put this anvil down. Put the piggy bank down here. Silver pickaxe. Okay, that'll speed us up a bit. Can I make anything else? A little lead. I need chains. Uh, I'll make a bucket too, just in case I come across any liquids I want, like honey. Um, and then I need a sawmill. Put that up here. Make a loom. Uh, loom. There we go. Make five silk. Make, uh, let's do a mushroom bed. I'm feeling frisky. Okay, let me put some potion ingredients in here. Keep hunter potion. Put gel and ammo slot. And then I'll just stash these for now. Okay, uh, we should be set to go now. Now we have a bed, so we can uh, just set our spawn up by the underground desert and keep dying until, uh, let me put my money in the piggy bank. Let me take the piggy bank with me, too. Um, because I dropped about eight gold on the ground that I could pick up. Imagine moving into a house after years of aimless travel only to be trapped in the white arm of a turtle and never spoken to for the rest of your life. Cat girls are weird as hell. You're weird as hell. Something's taking lava damage. It... What could have been taking... Was it lava damage? How could it have been lava damage? What was taking da Skeleton? No, Skeleton Merchant has a different damage sound. Here's the bone damage sound, I think. I don't know. Let me drink a Swiftness Potion. Get more Day Bloom.
Mining helmet helps out a lot. I'm also gonna go ahead and illuminate the path as... Oh, hello. Demon eye. As best I can to stop things like that. Because there's no natural illumination down here because it's don't dig up. On the bright side, hopefully... So I'm not going to get too ahead of myself. Um, but the long-term plans, because this is Don't Dig Up, are going to have to differ a bit then. If that's not a rainbow mushroom biome. Uh, that is the one part of Don't Dig Up that sucks, yeah. Well, there are plenty of things about Don't Dig Up that suck. Uh, one of them is that you only get regular mushroom biomes, not uh, rainbow ones. Ooh, table. Yeah, it's going to be interesting coming back and forth to this area. Because this is kind of our main path in the world, yeah? It's going to be coming through here. Um, now, the underground desert is quite a ways up, which is good. Because that that is a mimic that I do not have a way to kill. Uh, which is mighty unfortunate. Although, I... I could kill this Mimic. I could kill this Mimic. It would be very slow. Very slow. I'm going to kill this Mimic. Sand? No, no, no. Much worse than sand. It's fine. We have one down here. See that doubt trap right there? <laughs> that's our that's our mimic killing tool. This is Don't Dig Up. This is not legendary. Come on. No, no, no. Bad Mimic. Uh, it's a take a minute. No, 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 this is on Master. I mean, legendary. I mean, sorry, not legendary. Journey. Um, but it's journey set to master right now. Okay. This is arguably worth it. <laughs> now, I'm hoping that we get something like a cloud in a bottle. Or boots, or something like that. Zombie look like someone with a sofa helmet. This thing is 900 HP. I'm gonna get a magic mirror. I mean, magic mirror is not the worst thing. I mean, as long as I don't get like a mace or shoe spikes or something, I'd be happy. Eleven. Damn. 
crazy high damage. She respects good for Master Ninja Gear. I am not going to use Master Ninja Gear at any point in this run. I can safely say that. What would I do if I was in a mage, a room with a mage main and stall and I had two bullets? What would I do? Um, shoot the mage main twice. Dodge chance good, also dash. Wayne of confusion, better dodge chance. Secondly, don't want dash. If I wanted a dodge accessory, I would get Wayne of confusion. It's like 60% higher chance of dodging. And I don't want the dash, so. Okay, well, we are... It's down below 400. I'm just gonna point out, am I going tanky? Yeah, I mean, why would I do anything else? <laughs> I The lawnmower can't... As far as I'm aware, it can't have its damage buffed, so there's no reason to do anything other than tanky. What do I think Hitler would mean? I don't think Hitler would play Terraria. I'm not sure he'd understand video games very well. He's from like... 80 years ago. I'm aware, PWRWQ. Uh, yes, the lawnmower has very janky damage. It's complicated. It's not quite being on the ground. It has some weird check that it needs to pass in order to deal damage. I'll have to do some experimentation to figure out exactly how it works and how to manipulate it. Okay. Last 100. And I'm just going to point out, this is probably faster than it. What would Osama bin Laden main? Um, probably mage. Uh, this is probably faster than killing this mimic with a lawnmower would have been. Magic mirror. Yeah. Still got eight gold out of it though. I think we can shift the conversation off off of. Asking what random uh, terrorists or uh, notoriously horrible historical figures would have mained in Terraria, though. Okay. It's a good opportunity. Wait, where was the water leaf? It was down there. I want to get this water leaf. Um, to get uh, seeds, so I could potentially. I'm probably going to fish up Howard Mode Ores. Um, the reason for that is I don't want a fucking. Um, I walked into this thing again. We'll survive, we'll be fine. Uh, I would invasion. Uh, it runs off the blood of your enemies. That's its fuel source. We have a ton of cash. Let me store this before I lose it. 20 gold. God damn. What about a blood-powered lawnmower, though? No staff, axe, or free growth? I started this save file like 40 minutes ago. I have not left this part of the world. How would I get a staff or axe of free growth? I just started playing. The jungle is past the underground desert.
Taking up into sand with this little HP is uh, a bit daunting. Hopefully it's not too much further though. Oh, I hear antlions, which I think means we're getting close. Leave me somewhere good. I'll be there in a second. Let me get this water leaf. Okay. Uh, I'm hoping it's a life crystal. I'd really like a life crystal. Yo, it's a life crystal. Is there a chest next to it too? There is. Nice. Yo, boots, nice. Boots and bombs. Let me drink this. Ah, pot slime. I don't like pot slimes. Sadist? You ask very strange questions, Nekomaru. Question. You ask strange questions. Oh, some ant lion eggies. A little bit of sapphire. Is the underground desert gonna start? God damn. Hey, Goose. I, I, I don't know what that is, Nekomata.
Oh, this slime is relentless. God damn. This slime is relentless. Holy shit. Leave me alone. Hot slime. Ah, uh, dead man's chest. Hot slime! Oh, wait, no, that was just a stone. Never mind. I thought that was pot slime. Uh, what is it, Goose? Here is like a baker who makes sweet things like cakes. And then a succubus. Okay. Clear up these slimes. Spicy situation we're in here, though. Oh, it's getting real spicy. Oh, it's spicy. Is this on a special seed? Yeah, this is not to go. Chest up there. Okay. Take these blood zombies. Gen potions are good. Another life crystal up here. Oh, day bloom. More day bloom. Uh, get the explosives out. New armored Hermes boots. Those sound nice. Hmm. Let me put down some dirt. Currently, I'm trying to make my way up to the underground desert. I don't know why I jumped there. That's, uh, where we're at. To get the golf boot to buy the lawnmower. Uh, okay. Desert house. We finally made it to the cavern layer. Or underground layer, rather. Bath statue. That's nice. Uh, still not quite at underground desert level, though. If we had the background walls, it would be the underground desert. The music was changing appropriately there. Um, bucket on my head. And over here? Okay. Plenty of loot. I'm liking the amount of treasure we've got. Mm, I don't need angel statues for anything. chest here. The seat is where everyone's homies boots go when they die in hardcore. Uh, uh, two platforms. Mace sells for money though, so that's good. Uh, boots can go in loadout three. I'm 
gonna take this mushroom so we can get a die trader to spawn. Uh, I don't need a pressure plate. Some sapphire there, but I don't care too much. I want to go ahead back to the desert. Make a shine potion too. Uh, okay, that's where we begin. Let me set my spawn in this bed here, because I see the uh, background wall starting. Or in this room here, rather. Is this sufficient? No, we need the actual walls. Uh, dirt walls? I have plenty of hunter potions. I'm just going to pop one now. Help look for the uh, golfer down here. We got platinum in this world. That's good. Pout statue. Don't like your presence. How can I deal with him? Uh, shit. I need platforms badly. Mushroom grass seeds get out. That's an idea. It's really difficult to set up, though. Damn. Uh, shit. Let me just find a different cactus. Can I find a different cactus? Fuck. Okay, whatever. Uh, I don't have any more night, night owls, unfortunately. How was that? Oh, it's a vulture. Vulture confused the hell out of me. I thought this was Calamity Mon. It was like a storm lion or something. That was honestly my initial reaction. Lawnmower only Calamity mod win. I think I can safely say that one's going to be a never. Get off me. Uh, platinum's nice. I'd like some of that. Sign of the golfer, yeah. Oh, wait, shit. I get the lawnmower yet? No. You have to half expect the entire vein to get mined at once. I haven't used oil excavator, but it seems very um potent. Yeah, I'm looking for the golfer now. Hence the uh, hunter potion. Oh wait, he could get out of there. Shit. I'm not expecting that.
Where is this golfer at? Oh, did I just trash all my emeralds? Whoops. Well, I could go for amber. I get a bunch of desert fossils. Golfer, please. Wouldn't mind an ancient chisel too. Or dune riders. We'll probably end up dune ridering the wall of flesh, I feel like. I think. How things pan out. I'm moving around hoping that when I move off screen he'll spawn, but no. Can you increase the lawnmower's damage? Not to my knowledge, but we will do testing with different damage buffs and see if any of them affect it. fixed eight damage uh that's what the wiki says however the wiki's information on that is not always completely correct so i'm going to test some more non-specific and vague damage buffs and see if any of them happen to apply to the lawnmower Where is the golfer at? God damn. I haven't even, like, seen him and had him die. Do I think Magnus Carlsen is a succubus? I mean, who knows? Nakamoto, are you, like, 15 years old? You give off the vibe of, like, a 15-year-old. I'm not gonna lie. Mm, let me eat some food. Fuck. I just die here? Is it worth... Let me just go home. What part of the world do I inhabit? Uh, US. Let me put some of this stuff in here to save inventory space. Is there anything strange about the golfers spawning in Don't Dig Up? Um, like, I, I don't know why there would be, but just asking because I would have expected to have found one by now. 
It's odd that I haven't. Even one that just like instantly died. And I'm not sure. I don't play Don't Dig Up very much. Golf hook, please. Everything you used to talk about succubi a tad too much. You have been like doing nothing but talking about succubi. Uh, since you got here today. I hear the golfer. He's off to the left. Is he still there? How did this fucking Chowdru... How did they keep getting through these areas? I think he despawned. I don't see him anymore. Oh, I don't see him anywhere, period. Damn. Hot slime! Hot slimes are annoying. How did I hear the golfer? I heard something being damaged, and there were only... There's only one thing that could have gotten damaged three times in a row in the underground desert at this elevation with the bosses that I've killed. Hmm. Let's regen some HP. Because I don't think the skeleton merchant can spawn in the underground desert. Which then leaves just the golfer as something that could have been taking damage. It's my favorite Terraria song? Uh, I don't know. I'm bad at picking favorites. My favorite music artist? I don't know. I'm bad at picking favorites. Stop worm. Go away. Ah, it went in the wrong direction. What did I have a cactus to deal with these tomb crawlers? Hey, zero. Drink a regen potion. Have a couple of them. I don't want to die because it'll waste my hunter potion. Salamander? Whoops. I meant to jump there. Do rolling cacti respawn? Yeah, over time. My favorite Troy NPC? I don't know, I'm bad at picking favorites. Rolling cacti respawn? Yeah. Uh, they used to not respawn, but I believe they lowered the damage of rolling cacti and made it so they respawn. Uh, and they used to do a lot more damage. I think that's a thing, at least. 
I don't remember exactly. It's been a minute, but I believe they had changed them to um, do less damage but respawn. Uh, I don't know. I'm bad at picking favorites. Maybe they don't. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. But I have a cactus down here. I could use those. God damn it! I can't get a good angle. Stop going in the wrong direction. Right, let me just... Fuck off. Being in the underground desert without weapons is really annoying. Look, I don't really care why you like Succubi a lot. I just think it's weird to come into stream chat and then do nothing but talk about Succubi for like half an hour. Alpha, please. I need to fix this fucking... That ledge there. I keep getting... Did I hear... A damage sound over here? Do I like the band Deftones? I don't know the band Deftones. I don't really listen to music very much. I'd really appreciate the golfer showing up. Why, why couldn't I move there? Play any Dead Space games? I played the original. I got like shoved up against the cactus and then I was stuck on that sloped block and I couldn't move. Uh, the antlion charger hoiked me. That was weird. Whatever take this is. Just fucking immediately. I might be able to... Not with this thing here, I wouldn't be able to. I was gonna say maybe I could get away from it. No, not anymore. I'm worth trying to kill them. This block right here keeps fucking me up every time. Make sure to get rid of it. Fuck off. 
How'd you do 157 damage with a spike? God damn. The golfer was off to the left there, which is why I was so quick about trying to move over there. I'm down to 100 potion, which means I should delay using it until I know the golfer is nearby. Eh, yeah, fuck it, I'll use it anyway. I could always identify where the golfer is getting hit at using, uh... These worms are unreal. The speed with which they're spawning at is insane. The second I set foot in here for the past, like, two or three lives, I've instantly had a worm on me. a simpler way to cheese the twins? What do you mean simpler? Simpler than what? I mean, if you just make, like, an asphalt bridge, it'll probably work fine. You can make a box for Retinacer's second phase, but, like... I think that's more work than making some teleporters. As a reminder, all of this is the prerequisite to starting the run in the first place. We have to do all of this just to get the golfer to buy the lawnmower. Up there. Bot slime and worm are going to kill me. I don't know how the hell I dig to the golf with this worm on my ass. Uh, you know, I'm I'm fucking done with this. This remix seed? Yes. I should have put it lower down. You can sand them relatively consistently. I was just, uh... Not prepared to do it. Well, on the bright side, we're out of hunter potions now. Which means I don't have to care about things. Uh, which is a positive. 
Because now dying no longer matters, because I don't have anything to lose. So really, it was optimal. Unfortunately, trying to make your way through the underground desert is mildly annoying when you can't deal with enemies that go through blocks, which are also near impossible to avoid. Given the lack of space. So what we're going to have to do is illuminate all of this area and then run back and forth and just try to spot the golfer. Um... Which, on the bright side, if he spawns, he'll be in an area that I've already been to, since I'll be able to see him, and this whole place has been illuminated. Uh, which means it'll be easy to actually get to him. On the downside, uh, it's rather a lot of work to set all that up. Uh, let me put a torch down here. I have my magic mirror up here too. I should also illuminate down here. Uh, that water was not deep enough to break my fall, apparently. Take over here in case he spawns here. Also, go ahead and get some uh, platinum while I'm here. Could come in handy. Uh, amber. Amber is nice. Back up. This worm will probably kill me here, but it's fine. Uh, running low on healing potions, so we're not gonna bother with healing. If we die, we die. It's not too big of an issue. So there's tons of platinum, which is good. We'll make getting a platinum armor set, which is out of the goal long term. Well, short term, uh, I suppose. That's fine. Still no sign of the golfer, unfortunately. Did town increase the golfer's spawn rate? I'm not sure. I don't know how NPC spawning relates to spawn rate reductions of towns. What a wonderful enemy tomb crawlers are. That's just some cactus down there. I should go put a torch on it, though. So I can see what's going on in case he spawns down there. Okay, there was an antlion there. Good to know. Mm, no sign of anything up here.
Damn. Cobweb stuck me and then caused me to delay slightly with falling down there. I think, at least. Something messed up that jump. Oops. I'm sure we'll stumble into the, uh... Golf at some point, though. We've already found him a couple times. It was just he was in locations we couldn't really access. Mostly due to tomb crawlers. Making it impossible to dig through sand. Getting paper airplanes have been worse than this. I would have just given myself paper airplanes to begin with. Like bounce paper airplanes would have been like bouncy dynamite. Where I just give myself a bunch to start with. Damn, I didn't think he would make that jump. I thought he would have gotten caught there. Delayed a sec. Since we're here, I'm going to keep doing this until I get the lawnmower. Um, if I was in a different... If I hadn't found the underground desert, I probably would have gone until I got 400 HP first. Um... Since it's much easier to just... Oh, he's right there. Okay. Game decided to be kind. Okay, lawnmower obtained. Okay. Now please get me the hell out of the underground desert. I do not want to be here. Okay, so, the lawnmower has very weird hit detection. It... has something to do with touching the ground as you're using it to deal damage. Like... If I'm jumping here, it won't deal damage. Now, that aside, it deals damage relatively quickly, it seems. Um, it has a decently high use time. Uh, I can also mow grass to reduce spawn rates. Let's go for getting max HP now. And there's... Okay, let's check. So earlier we used the Dart Trap to kill... That Mimic. Mode Grass has lower spawn rates. Yeah, that's what it does. That's what it says on the lawnmower. Okay. Earlier we used the Dart Trap to kill the Mimic. Let's see how long it takes the lawnmower to do it. Uh, I don't know if I can actually set this up so I can attack the Mimic. Hold on. I have an idea. Oops. Yeah, that's unfortunate. 
Uh, okay. I'll have to play around with that. Doesn't Lawnmower only deal damage when moving? I don't think that's how it works. Based on how I was interacting with that slime earlier, I can test it. If this mimic isn't going to despawn. Alright, I've got an idea. Put the angler. There's the angler, yeah. Right, he can get through that spot. That's how we got into this situation in the first place. Get these out of here. I think it has a simultaneous... I need a basic enemy like a slime to test it on. Because it has a very weird hit reg hit detection. Um... What what does that have to do with anything, Nekomata Gaming? Why do you keep bringing up cat girls and succubi? Okay, very subtle movements are enough to cause the lawnmower to hit half damage. But it also has... I think it simultaneously needs to be... You need to be moving and the enemy needs to be on the ground. Like, the mower needs to be in contact with a, a block. I think that's what's going on here. Because, like, I can't hit this thing when I'm jumping. But I can when it's on the ground. But it's rather inconsistent about it. Okay. I have a couple ideas. Might be moving forward. I'll have to check. It'll be easier to test once we go back to the underworld and have lava slimes. Because they're much more consistent. Zombies are also a very good thing to test on. Worms are not ideal. Would hoiks work? I'm not going to hoik boss fight. That would just be boring. Maybe to, like, automate a foam or something, but... The point of this is to actually play the game. Not AFK for 30 hours. I think you do have to be moving forward. That is going to make the wall of flesh extremely awkward. Okay. You have to be moving forward. Oh, this is on master mode right now, Candace. But it's on journey mode, so I can adjust the difficulty as necessary. Cactus armor is OP. I'm not going to make cactus armor. Cactus armor is not a lawnmower. Okay. So you need to be moving forward. It needs to be on flat ground. As far as I can tell. 
Let me test on this flying fish. So I'm moving forward. Okay. I have an idea I want to test. I want to see... Well, there are two things. I want to check actuated blocks. And I want to test platforms. Uh, yeah, this is a large world. To see if... If either of those are in the background, I'm able to deal damage with the lawnmower. Um... I don't have the capacity, capability of making actuated blocks. I may go to a different world to test it out. Uh... But if I layer platforms like this... Let me see if we can, uh... Deal damage. Flying fish up here. Oops. Come on. What was causing me to deal damage? It was when I was on the ground, not moving. Maybe jumping or being in midair just messes with your ability to deal damage. Hmm. I, you know, I'm going to hop in on a different character and do some testing. Uh, with better armor so I can accurately... Um, Assess things. So let me just uh, get something off a builder's workshop or something. Uh, okay. All right. Grab some. Uh, actually, is the lawnmower? That should be tools, probably. Tools, shovel, painting wiring tools, uh, miscellaneous, lawnmower, golf, okay. Okay. Let's get some defense. And let's do some testing. Man type. Leave like two minutes. So yeah, I'm doing some testing. I want to get a feel for exactly how the lawnmower works because it works in a very strange way. All right, let me get the Eye of Cthulhu. And let's put spawn rates down to zero. They're already on zero. Okay. Uh, and Magic Mirror Hall. Uh, there's my invincibility machine. Okay. Doesn't matter like what Discord from in inventory. Uh, it's for teleporting around quickly in journey mode. I didn't get it to drop, though. So I'm not contractually obligated to um, trash it. Uh, there was some cheese thing that I was playing around with it for. And then I just kind of left it there. Okay. Let's...
Let's see how this works out. Okay. Uh, time. Dusk. Okay, yes. What if I... Yeah, you have to, like, be combination moving forward and on a block. Because, like, if I'm mi in mid-air here, right, um, I'm moving forward, at no point is this lawnmower dealing damage. However, if I come down here to these blocks, then I can get damage to trigger. But it's based... Okay. Being knocked back up into the air seems to be canceling my damage. Let's try putting on knockback immunity. Okay. There seems to be a very low to the ground hitbox when doing this. Um, what if I come back here? So, it's only, like, right on top of the mower, like, the bottom of the mower that deals damage. And in order to deal damage, you need to both be moving forward, and the enemy you're dealing damage to needs to be on solid ground, uh, with you. Okay. Time to test actuators. Do I have actuators? Uh, okay. I'd much rather do this than play more Pizza Tower. Let me just get these out of the way real quick. I don't like building this a lot easier. It's not that bad. I just really disliked Pizza Tower. I didn't enjoy it. Like, I get that people like it, but I did not have fun with it. You yeah, know, I think any of the other options on the poll would have been more fun. But by doing this, I can now, uh, just, like, I don't know, ban people for being really annoying and repetitive for, uh, repeating do X with X in Terraria, because it's really annoying. And people tend to think that, for some reason, that's original and funny. Um... That's understandable. The lobster emoji was there. I put an L to look for lawnmower, and then lobster popped up, so I just put lobster down. Okay. And let's... Disable all these. Uh, pressure plate, or switch, or something. Uh, furniture? Oh, anything but a player. Okay. Let's try this now. Are you annoying and repetitive? Mm, okay. 
What was... I was making that noise. Wait, does the Eye of Cthulhu make that noise when it spawns eyes? I never noticed that. Huh. Okay. So, it looks to me that the only way to deal damage with the lawnmower um, is to have the enemy on flat ground completely horizontal to you um, while also moving forward. Okay. Oh, that might be a play, though. Hold on. If I dot the world like this, such that I keep going up and down, does that work? Ah, it does. Okay. I could build a design like this, where I'm constantly walking on flat ground, um, but going up and down, and that would let me hit things that are slightly above me in the air, like the Servants of Cthulhu. And yes, I have to be moving forward. If I walk backwards into them, it does not deal damage. Okay. I understand how the lawnmower works now. So we're going to have to build arena designs like that. That's how we do this. I have three notifications on Discord. Why do I have three notifications on Discord? They're just random people pinging me on my server. Okay. Um... Eye of Cthulhu should be fine. Brain of Cthulhu should be fine. Eater of Worlds would be fine. Skeletron, given infinite time, due to the fact that this is Don't Dig Up, would be fine. Queen Bee would be slow, but fine. Wall of Flesh, we will have to do on Classic. There is no way we would do Wall of Flesh on a difficulty above Classic. It was hard enough with the Copper Short Sword. This is miles worse than the Copper Short Sword. It's got to be on Classic. Um, and I think it could be done. I think it could be done. Although it would be tough. And I'd probably want to farm Shark Tooth necklaces for it. Um, the Destroyer should be fine. Although slow. Skeletron Prime should be fine. What I'm concerned about, honestly... Phase 2 Retinazer. Phase 2 Retinazer. Getting the line up like that, I can... I'm probably going to have to use teleporters and teleport myself and then quickly run forward into him Um, before he has a chance to move. That's the only way I could think of to get hits on Retinazer. Plantera should be fine. Golem should be fine. Um... Empress, if I were to do that, would be exceptionally difficult. Um, and Moon Lord, obviously. Moon Lord would cause a lot of problems. How did you get in here? I was not looking at what happened. How did he get in here? Did he go up there and then hoik in off that hammered block? Is that what happened? Cultist? Cultist would be fine. Um... We can do cultist. How do you get in there? Are you stupid for asking dumb questions? Uh, asking dumb questions doesn't make you stupid. It does make you repetitive and somewhat annoying when you do the same one, like, the tenth time uh, in an hour. Like, yes, succubi exist. Cat girls exist. Is, is, is there supposed to be, like, a joke, a punchline? There's, there's not one. It's just saying the same thing over and over again. Okay. Ooh, glowing mushroom biome. That'll be good. I want to get to max HP. And also get enough platinum for an armor set. Uh, how much platinum more do I have? 82? That's 20 bows. It's a spider cave? It is a spider cave.
that's generally hovering above you. Uh, it's a consistent location, so we can manipulate it. Hope this will be fine. Hot slime! Honestly, that's the most annoying part about going to dig up right now. It's just the pot slimes. But, um, for all intents and purposes, for the vast majority of the game, we are probably not going to have a weapon. Um, it's going to be basically impossible to kill, uh, most things, especially once we get out of free hard mode. Um, which means I think avoiding invasions is going to be extremely important. Um, and as a result, I don't think I'm going to do any of the things that are invasion spawn triggers. Pot slimes. And don't dig up when you break pots, they have a chance to spawn a slime. Hey, Mikal. How you doing? But yeah, also, um, as should be obvious, this is going to be unbelievably slow. What things can trigger invasions? Um, breaking shadow orbs or crimson hearts will trigger goblin invasions. Breaking a demon altar will trigger pirate invasions. Does that mean no gun? I am using a lawnmower in a lawnmower only run. Why would I... Favorite Troy invasion? Uh, Frost Legion. It's the only one that's completely optional and you choose to do by yourself. Are summons allowed? No. If it was using summons, then it wouldn't be lawnmower only. It would just be the summon weapon. I want a queen statue. Or a king statue. How am I going to reach Moon Lord's hands? We're a long way from that. We'll deal with it when it comes, when it happens. Motion and madness is also optional. No. If a motion probe spots you, if you don't kill it, it invades. I can assure you, most of the time I've dealt with motion invasions, I did not choose to summon motions. The vast majority of the time I've had to deal with a motion invasion, it's been because one of the things spotted me and I couldn't kill it in time, or in multiplayer, one of the things spotted somebody and it could they couldn't kill it in time. What about Frost Moon? That's an event, not an invasion. Why am I doing this? Oh, I'd won the poll. Four hundred HP is gonna help out a lot, though. I don't need mushroom grass. Oh, there's a life crystal up there. I think there might be a couple based on the map. Don't dig up. Yeah. We're probably going to have to get creative utilizing traps um, to do certain things. Namely, like the pillars and if an event happens to happen or farming for souls of night or things like that. Um, Frost and Pumpkin Moon work the same way as Blood Moons and Solar Eclipses. Sorry if you're annoying, but you're quite autistic. I, I don't really know how to respond to that. I mean... You can always use them? No, aren't they tied to the time of day? Like, 
blood moons and solar eclipses. A lot of bats. Let me get the bats down here. Okay, that's a couple of the bats. There are a lot more bats, is the issue. Yeah, yeah, you're probably mixing up with the boss timer. You can use boss summons at any time, but not the pumpkin and uh, Fossman things. I think you have to do those at night. Man, we're starting to know a little bat colony here. What is a puff puff? I don't know. I think, like, Google would probably be a better way to find that answer than asking here. Hot oh, slime! and all the mobs. That's basically going to be the strategy for most of the game. Um, I didn't even know Puff Puffs were a snack. Like I said, I don't know what it is. So I... I like, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, some day glimp down there. I don't like that bat being free. The bat's more of a concern than the Shelly right now. Although, if necessary, I will trap the Shelly. Shelly's dealt with. Let's go get that life crystal up there. Uh, there's a hornet statue. Might come in handy if I need a bazaar. Which I probably will. It's, uh, I don't want it to be fish run. I'll certainly want an arc shield. Second life crystal. Hot slime! Uh, do to do, do. Boots get out. I don't need another pair. Uh, do to do. do. Hot slimes. Okay, there's another life crystal. Of oh my god, there's so many pot slimes. Uh... Fuck. Hold on, damn it. I uh, lost my double jump somewhere. I think I got hit right after I double jumped. Um, that or I just had grabbed the rope when I thought I did. I don't need outreach potions or anything. I don't know why I'm holding on to them. Okay. Uh, 280 out of 300.
Oh, I missed. Fuck. Fuck. Hit it, please. There we go. Honestly, I don't want to break pots. Because they're just going to spawn pot slimes. But, like... Pots are also good loot and money. I think that's the underground forest that's really cozy. Hmm. Uh... Fallen stars can go in here. Slot. We are going to have to go hard into a tank build, though. Um... Because... I mean, it was borderline impossible to attack things with a copper short sword without taking damage. I don't think it's, like, possible to attack things with the lawnmower without taking damage. Back to environmental preservation. Maybe after we, uh, get the dryad, yeah. Unfortunately, wouldn't be an option now, though. Uh, boulder? Lava. So we are potentially capable of navigating the underground desert now. But I'd rather get more defense before I go back. Once I can tank the, um... The worms, then I would feel fine exploring the underground desert fully. How big is the lawnmower hitbox? It's very small, localized on the ground. Um, like where the blades would be on the lawnmower, as far as I can tell. I get a bunch of amber. Um, I'm gonna get fossil. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Because fossil pickaxe and amber. Amber would give me a good hook, and fossil pickaxe is just a very good pickaxe. Uh, how much platinum is it for a full armor set? Um, is it like... 70 bows? It's 20, 25, 30? Uh, 75 bows? Is that? It's 20, 25, 30. Uh, seventy-five times 4, 280, 295 ore? Is that right? Might also be 25, 30, 35. Um, in which case it would be 320. I'll get 320 just in case. I'm not certain. But the reason I'm getting platinum more is because um, it's got the most defense out of any uh, armor set in pre hard mode until... Killing the evil boss, I believe. I think Shadow might. Actually, does Shadow even have more defense? This antlion won't leave me alone. It's too big to fit down that hole, damn. Okay. 15 amber will get me a. As I've said, it's what I want. 
Uh, ancient chisel, yes. Okay, that is wonderful. Suspicious looking eye is good too. Graph potion's nice. Uh, I can just get rid of this torch. Plenty goes. Which amber we at? Okay, that's 15 amber. Let me get some more. As I said, I'm gonna want to do fishing later. God, I love the ancient chisel so much. Uh, if I want to extractinate this ore, though, I'll need an extractinator. Why is your profile pic so annoying? I can't even see what your profile pic is. I don't, I don't know how to answer that. Oh, damn, he's flying. I'm gonna head back. Needs to be a mod that draws all the hit hurt boxes. That would be nice. Let's stash some of this stuff. My inventory is getting too full. Nice house, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see how much planet I'm gonna need. Okay, amber hook. Big find. Um, Amber Hook is only behind Diamond in terms of gem hooks. Okay. Um, this was just my random blocks chest. Let me do a quick stack first. 210 platinum ore. How far does that get us armor wise? Okay, it's 20, 25, 30, which is uh, 55, 75, yeah. So it was 295 that we need. Uh, but let me... Oh, I guess I can only make that one right now. Yes, Amber is either tied with or just above Ruby, depending on the item. Um, it's very good. Let me make an Ores and Bows chest. It's relatively easy to get. Um, Underground Desert. But yeah, it is pretty easy to get. But, I mean, at the same time, if you think about, like, I would consider the underground desert more annoying than, like, jungle. And the loot you get from the jungle is also really good. Because um, the game balances it in a way that doesn't anticipate you going there yet. Like, the loot's very good for an area accessible right up, off the bat. Uh... Yeah, as opposed to the underground desert, which does not encourage you to go fast. The worms are very annoying, especially when your only method of killing them is waiting for them to line up with naturally spawning cactus, which are a non, uh, 
consistent resource. If the ones deal a lot of damage, they deal like 10 damage, right? I feel like I remember just like an iron skin being sufficient. Uh, let's do stuff furniture. I mean, maybe it is 17. I don't remember. I might be mixing it up with the crimson. Um, like the ones, because the jungle ones do hit harder than the crimson and corruption ones. Why is my name Sorbet Cafe? Uh, it rhymes. Save with this. Do all thorns inflict bleeding? Uh, none of the thorns inflict bleeding. Huh. i probably just let him kill me, honestly. Got better things to do than fight the Eye of Cthulhu right now. And I'm not set up for it. Spikes inflict bleeding. That's about it. Um. Yeah, okay. I got water leaf seeds. Okay. Uh, I'll probably head back. I think I can be reasonably comfortable in the underground desert now, given my additional defense. Um, and lackluster as it, as it may be, uh, my weapon. It's weirder than English, the T turns into a Y sound. What? Are we talking about sorbet? Confused on what your profile pic is, it's a two-tailed cat girl, aka Nekomata, now do you think it's annoying? What? I don't care what your profile picture is. The annoying thing is talking about it non-stop, not having it as your profile pic. Get out of here, fuck off, ghost! Epic combat. Truly. A battle of Goliaths. Uh, torches. Campfire. Hang on, I have the ability to cheat because of my wealth. Okay, now I'll head off to the underground desert and um, can I mow ash grass? It doesn't look like I can. Damn burgers. What? Oh wait, I have a hook. Favorite biome in Terraria? Uh, I don't know, I'm bad at picking favorites.
having a hook in double jump is just like unlocking god mode. I know the French word for hoity-toity rich people. Burgers? See what's off in this direction. How long after calling them? Oh, I'm not going to die for a lot. Outside of the underground desert, I don't think there's really anything that could kill me. Um... Now that I actually have the ability to evade things. And whatnot. It's not tempting fate, it's just objectively true. Is that another house? Having history classes in French has scoured you deeply? That sounds terrific. I would hate to have to interact with French on a regular basis. How I intend to beat the mechanical boss in 15 minutes? I don't have to. This is the remix scene. Time limits don't exist. Also, it's 9 minutes, not 15 minutes. And even if it wasn't remix seed, I would pause time. That's called a corrupt statue? Yeah. They spawn Eaters of Souls when activated. A lot of rupees. Odd naming? Uh, they are an older statue. They originally had no effect. No, there's not a Crimson one. The ability to spawn Eaters of Souls was added in a later update. They were much older than that. Um, I think they may have been in the game since, like, release, honestly. It's a very old statue. Um, and at that time, there was no Crimson. So it wouldn't have made sense to have a crimson statue. And it also didn't do anything until much later. Um, I don't know if exactly the, the extent that it's been in the game, but it's an older statue. Hot slime! Wish I had spelunkies. Spelunkies would be nice. Make this hunt a bit easier. Uh, we need... Four more life crystals. More than that would be good, but four is the minimum that I want. Uh, Night Owl is good. chests but more boots and things aren't bad 1.1 1. 1. okay yes which item has an idea of one idea of one uh i don't know dirt block i don't really pay attention to item ids
So I do want goblin. And if I don't want to break a statue for a natural spawn, that means I'll have to get dirt block is two. Imagine, like, how horrific this must be for the goblin. Like, do you know what... How horrifying, like, the underside of lawnmowers are? Like... You sit there, you're stuck in a place that you're unable to escape. As lawnmower blades are just grinding you to death. But they're not killing you. They're just very slowly ripping you apart bit by bit. Until eventually you die. And you have to sit there and watch all of it. And there's no way to get out. All just because some guy wants to steal the fabric that, like, your clothing is made out of. You think rapidly spinning metal blades would make for a faster kill, yeah. The goblin deserves it? What did he do? Why does he deserve it? Mimic statue? They don't drop anything. There's not any reason for me to farm them. Okay, I'll head back to the underground desert. I remember there being a lot of platinum in there. It brings all his friends to destroy my home. Okay, but how do you know that that guy did that? Okay, there was just some other goblin scout that might have done that. But how do you know that particular one is guilty of that? You don't. There wasn't a trial. Thunder Zapper, huh? Yeah, he could have been scouting for a place with good living conditions. Maybe he was an outcast too. I'm sure the guide would tell. I'm sure the guide would say something like, I'm, are goblins and us really so different that we couldn't live together peacefully? You know? That sounds like something the guide would say. Choke statue! Choke statue is actually good. Uh, try to blast back here. Okay, that's almost all of our life crystals now. Is that a woman or a queen? It is queen. Okay, I'm gonna take that. We may have to use queen statues um, to bring NPCs to us, namely the dryad, to kill... 
naturally spawning enemies in the world. We'll have to see. Put homies in another location. Uh, all my loadout slots are full. The queen statue is a function? Yeah, it teleports female NPCs to it. When activated. But um, since this is... Don't dig up. Uh, lava will not damage mimics or any enemy. And as a result, if we want to kill Crimson Mimics for Flesh Knuckles, which we want to do, uh, because Knuckles are very powerful, um, we're going to need something else that applies a damage over time effect or deals damage that is not player damage so it doesn't trigger it. Um, of which I think my next best option would be the Dryad's Dryad Spain debuff. Which does work. And will not trigger mimics. And you can use that to uh, kill them. I want antlion mantles. Does Mon lower work with flasks? I don't believe so. I don't believe it does melee damage. But I will check to be certain. But that would not be anytime soon. Will Queen be first? You're so wise, gay boy. I guess goblin bigotism just comes to me, but I shall resolve to be more inclusive to our goblin neighbors. Okay. I'm not gay, I'm bisexual, but... Thanks. Okay. Uh, I want magic conch. I want... Uh, Dragic Donch. Dune Rider Boots. Dragic Donch. Yeah. Um, yeah. An Extractinator wouldn't hurt either. I've already got a chisel and a, uh, the other one. Fast at you. I just need the magic conch and the tragic donch. My opinion on the guide from Terraria? Uh, he's kind of a nerd. Am I doing this? Uh, because it won the poll. I wonder if this does have knockback to... Eh, not really. Wait, shit. Probably, uh... I would, uh... I need a two-block gap to attack with the lawnmower. Or hammering a block? Uh, I tried that against the Mimic, and then the Mimic just came through the block and killed me.
and use mounts? I doubt it. Based on how it looks. I may perish. No, I'll be fine. Taking damage was fairly intentional there. Does it put me in positions to uh, be able to hit the worm? Yeah, the lawnmower has very strange hit detection that requires you to both be moving forward, specifically forward, not backwards. Um, and also be on solid ground, like this. How am I going to outspeed the Lord's tongue? I don't know, asphalt, teleporters? I've done it a lot of different ways. We'll figure it out when we get there. We're nowhere near the Moon Lord. I'm not going to worry about the Moon Lord. When is the next stream? Probably tomorrow. I do not like these worms. But wouldn't it be sad if I quit at Moonwood? Uh, not really. I'd just be like, oh, we can't do it, but I'm gonna try it. We have to get to the Moonlord first. I mean, the Moonlord's literally the end of the run. It's probably like well over a hundred hours of gameplay between here and then. I'm really not concerned about how we're gonna kill the Moonlord. That's a problem for another time. The problem for right now is how we're going to kill this fucking dune rider, tomb crawler. Let's see a Nakamoto. Yes, knockback means I miss potential hits, which means the Cobalt shield and its upgrades are going to be very big. Um, I am not going to farm for Gladiator set, though. The main reason I quit Pizza Tower was because the game just gave me a headache to play. Like... I didn't, like, absolutely hate the gameplay. It was just really chaotic. But, like, after playing for an hour or two, it just gave me a headache. No Fallen Stars? We got 21 Fallen Stars. Um, but I don't think we're gonna get much support from Falling Stars, no. Because Falling Stars... This was before the Peace Treaty was signed. Um, and as a result, they're still hostile. Fuck off, I. Does the I spawn anywhere on this seed? I think it does, doesn't it? I versus lawnmower. Um, right now I'm just gonna let the I win. I don't feel like trying to fight it. I don't have an arena for it. I don't have the defense to survive comfortably. I just don't dig up. Yeah. 
What was I doing up here? I wanted a magic conch. <sighs> Is the eye gonna show up? chest. Yeah. I can all accept when it's possible. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can't get hollowed and crimson or corruption at the same time. One more work on minecoat? I doubt it. Also, the minecart damage would grossly outdamage the uh, lawnmower, so we wouldn't use it. Like, with the lawnmower, you need to be touching the ground with the lawnmower. Mounts, minecarts, flying. If the lawnmower isn't on the block, it's not dealing damage, as far as I can tell. So anything whatsoever that moves you up above the air, I don't think works with the lawnmower. I'm not positive, because I haven't tested them. But, like... Minecart takes you off the ground. You're not touching a block and like Actually it does work on uh the zombie at least. So maybe it doesn't quite work like that. I'll have to see. But, like, the minecarts do damage anyway, so I wouldn't be able to use them anyway. Experiment more? Why? What would I gain from experimenting more? Maybe I'll find some... But what? Like, I don't need to experiment. I've already established how it works i'm not i want to get life crystals i want to get defense once i get defense it's easier to experiment because i'm not going to die uh the instant that enemies touch me because i won't be taking like 60 damage a hit experimenting now is not the solution it's not what i want to do that's just a waste of time I want to get more life crystals, and I want to loot the stuff from the underground desert. Oh, this is drastically worse than the Copper Short Sword. They're not even comparable. And my theory just got disintegrated by a random in my chat? What are you talking about? What do you mean disintegrated? What? This guy's funny. Yeah. Isn't the shield block mechanic? Ah, uh, like the Sergeant United Shield Parry? I don't know the lawnmower as well as I need to. I do know the lawnmower as well as I need to. I don't need further information right now. I'm not using the lawnmower as a weapon. How the lawnmower works does not matter right now. I do not care to find out more about it. I figured out sufficient information to function with it at the moment. Anything else I can do later once I have defense. Once I don't take 40 damage a hit by a skeleton if it happens to hit me. Experimenting right now is not the solution. At absolute best, it would give me a small piece of information to which I would go, okay, I can use that later. But I could also just get that information later. There's no reason to do it now. I don't know. I'm probably going to test that thing for me if I can get one of them.
Thanks, Vika. How's the lawnmower going? Ah, uh, pretty well, all things considered. We obtained the lawnmower, so that was a big one. This armor? No. Uh, not to my knowledge. Who's a hunter potion up here? The lawn do be big, yeah. Spelunker potion, huh? I like the sound of that. Take all three of these. I should have. Pretty good luck here. Wish I had a mining potion. Yes, here. Magic conch, magic conch, magic conch. Snake charm was flute. Hmm. That's not a magic conch. Uh, I'll take a graph potion though. Come in handy. I'm not positive. I could check again, but I'm pretty sure it's not a snake charmer's flu. Can I load, mow the lawn while using homies boots? Uh, I think I should be able to, yeah. Well, this is very much so going to be a boots on the ground run. Um, so the spawning of goblin scouts, uh, they just spawn like anywhere and don't dig up, right? In the, the surface, fall surface. trying to think because I want to um, get goblin and I don't want to break a uh, orb for random spawns being enabled you see exact documentation I think they just spawn anywhere in the false surface so I'm probably just gonna hang around there I found one at least it seemed to just be hanging out. Crimtain. Don't want to care too much about that. I would like a magic conch, though. I see a chest up there. Magic conch. Ma ah, going in the wrong direction. No! 
chest over there too. Yeah. That didn't do nearly as much damage as I was hoping. Going in the wrong direction. Two chests. One there, one there. That'll be the end of our Spelunker potion. Let's just remember where they are. This is just a taste of what the destroyer fight is going to be like. But, um, I haven't, in the previous low damage runs, I typically haven't gone for, like, an hyper-optimized tank build. Um, outside of, like, when I got to, like, the Empress of Light and Moon Lord, um, in Copper Short Sword only. We're going to have to work with a hyper-optimized tank build to do these bosses, I feel like. Die, please. Five damage. Okay. I'm going to take these fossils, actually blocks out of here. Okay, chest number one was right down here. The short if it's gonna be like one 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 two. I don't think the lawnmower can crit. I think it's like the flare gun. Uh I have not noticed any critical damage coming off the lawnmower at any point. Molten armor for Eye of Cthulhu? No. We don't need that much for the eye. I'm thinking more hard mode bosses. Um Yeah I don't think classless damage can crit. Because the flare gun can't crit, dynamite can't crit, um, all those things. And the lawnmower is like those. Ah, uh, where was it down here? I will get platinum over the eye, which is not much worse than molten. Stop giving me snake charmer's flutes. Okay, teleportation potions are interesting. Hey, CPU. Uh, right now, we are just getting loot uh, for lawnmower only. Prepping for the uh, first couple bosses. Anything else that can go in ammo slot? Roof sand? No. Uh, I'll just drink this. The hell is lawnmower? Uh, terraria item. Sold by the golfer. It's more of a tool than a weapon. It mows lawns and reduces spawn rates on mowed grass. Yeah, the golfer sells it. Traveling merchant, huh? I don't need rope anymore. I should have enough platinum too for um platinum armor. Have we beaten King Slime yet? No. There's not much reason to. Nor do I have the ability well, I didn't have the ability to summon him. Where was that chest? Must have been right up here. Should I get the chest out? I don't 
think I did. I was up here. Just... Did I loot the chest? I don't remember. I don't think I did. Oh, wait, it would have been... Okay, no, I did loot the chest. Okay, let's go home. What's the need for fighting I of Cthulhu then? Uh, I would get us the Dryad. Um, it would stop it from showing up. Because the Eye of Cthulhu is just going to randomly spawn every, like, three nights or so on average until we kill it. And it's going to be very annoying. It's also never going to despawn until we die because this is Don't Dig Up and there's no time limit. Uh... We're killing the Eye, let's just get rid of it. No, this is not the Zenith Seed. This is Don't Dig Up. But are you shield bonk for iframes? No, the shield bonk would grossly out damage the uh, lawnmower more than likely, uh, along with being drastically easier to use. And I also don't like the shield of Cthulhu, so no, I would not do that. Okay, 28 defense, not ideal. It's workable for the eye, though. With homies boots. Let's make a hot lantern. Uh, actually, it would be 33 plus 8, 41, 43 defense. 43 to 45, which is fine. I can work with that. What difficulty? Right now it's set to master mode. Uh, this is on journey mode though, so I can adjust the difficulty. Any mods? No. So for the eye, I wanted pretty much a perfectly flat arena for the most part, but then having blocks I could run up and down on. down. Campfire. Bass statue. What does 1.4.4 give? Um, a lot. That's the update that rebalanced a lot of melee weapons and um, added the shimmer and all the town slimes and uh, get fixed boy all that stuff Okay, let's get potions together, and I'm going to prep for a long fight, because this could take a minute. Um... Oh, I need to uh, get water bottles. 
Where are we now? Uh, probably about to fight the eye, I'd say. Food. Food. Food buffs that I can obtain. Um, could catch something to eat when I go up here. How's this gonna work? We'll see. Chili. Do you craft that with like the spicy peppers that fall from the trees? Is that? Are you leading me anywhere? It's about to be night time. Where are we going? Uh, just to that house up there? Okay, no. I got better places to be. So, no thank you. The goldfish walk around in uh, Don't Take Up. I'm not feeling like they don't. Well, I guess I'm also not new NPCs, which would be buffing their spawn rates. I know I saw a bunny earlier. Good luck for a squirrel to come out of one of these trees. I mean, worst case scenario, like, not having a food buff is not the end of the world or anything. It's just a bit of regen and, um, defense. Finish Moonlord on PS4 and you bought Trillion PC. Should you play vanilla all achievements or instantly do things like big mod packs? Um, I think it's up to you whether you want. I mean, do you feel like you experienced Terraria really well on PS4? Do you think you did most of what you want to do in the game? Is there still a lot of stuff you want to do in vanilla? If there's still stuff you want to do in vanilla, I'd say go for a vanilla playthrough. Um, if you feel like you've done a lot. Um, and you want to see what kind of things mods have to offer, then I'd probably go for modded. Man, where's the food at? I want something to eat. There we go. Food spotted. Okay, let me also buy some healing potions. And convert them to uh, greater heals. Make some iron skins. Make five, good measure. 
make these healing potions. Okay. Um, and let me also make a uh, cooking pot. Cook that squirrel. And... Right, I wanted to do one more thing here. I want this arena to look like this. Uh, I mean, I'm probably going to fight him in, like, a minute. Playing to a fortress, you're new to it, and you still don't know if you're doing it right. Nothing has gone wrong yet, which means you have no idea what to do and what you should not prioritize. All the dwarves have survived, except one who got stuck in a tree, that in dehydration. Not even your livestock has died. Uh, I don't know. I have not played Dwarf Fortress. Okay. It's going to be tough to deal damage to the eye itself. This is going to take a while. The lack of knockback immunity is uh, really quite annoying. Uh, yes, Tempestman. Tempest is someone. Uh, but yeah. That's the time level. I wonder if I can... No. I wonder if I could... We're getting there. We're like 35 damage in. 35 is a big number. Thirty-five's a big number. Um. On the bright side, our damage is going to go up drastically in phase two. Because, um, the eye's defense drops to zero in phase two. The main reason our damage is so low is because of his defense. Um, the mower does eight damage, and that's being reduced to two. Once we get knockback immunity, our ability to fight things will be drastically improved. That's one of the main issues right now, is the lack of knockback immunity, because we get knocked off the ground, and then when we're off the ground, we, um... I have an idea. I want to try something. Uh... Get out of here. Stop attacking the eye. craft things. Do I have wood? I don't have wood. Uh... Stop attacking the eye! Hold on. I'm gonna get him killed so he just doesn't...
This solves the knockback issue. Hold on. And I can just hold to the side here. This is probably the best DPS I'm going to get on the eye. Because I need to be moving, and I can hold to the side to move constantly, and it counts me as moving. And because of that block next to it, this counts as, um... Being on the ground. So I guess we just do this. I don't... <laughs> okay. Uh, this is going to take a very long time. Um, what is our DPS here? This is probably like 4 DPS. He has 4,000 HP. Um, what's that gonna be? Like, a thousand seconds? Well, no, because once we hit phase 2, it'll go up a lot. Um, probably hits phase 2 after we deal like a thousand damage. Second boat damage would be more accurate. No, we're doing... So we're hitting twice each time he goes past us, for, which is 4 damage total. And he's doing that about once a second. Until he does these. I've been doing lately. I've been doing alright. The damage is not as bad as I would have expected. Um, you know, all things considered, it could be a lot worse. We're still hitting him. I'm not taking it if the eye servants are hitting me for all those iframes. I think even if the servants weren't hitting me, I still wouldn't really be doing much damage. Um, I mean, taking much damage. I have 43 defense. Um, although this is actually going to be interesting because I'm going to be able to completely iframe the Eye of Cthulhu in Phase 2 because of the servants of Cthulhu and they're not damaging me. Lawnmower cheese? Lawnmower actual unironic Eye of Cthulhu cheese? Because in this situation, it's impossible for the eye proper to deal damage to me, and I have enough regen to out-damage the eyes, and I'm just eye-framing them. Think about giving the Vivarium an upgrade? Uh, I've been meaning to, but it's a lot of work. Okay, um... Oh yeah, you have to be in Don't Dig Up, that's true. It's also complete shit. Because this is going to take like half an hour to kill him. Although, um, I had gotten a blood zombie statue. And I would like to get uh, a, shark tooth, a shark tooth necklace. Unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to have a shark tooth necklace. I can't. I could do a stinger necklace as well because they spawn bees when you take damage. Um, but a shark tooth necklace would give me um, 2 to 3 damage per hit. You were looking at this a few minutes ago and it barely lost HP. Is this the second fight or still the first? This is the first fight. Why would there be a second fight? I would I would need to die to the eye for there to be a second fight. How many servants of Cthulhu is he going to spawn? Are the buffs going to last? I don't know if the buffs even matter. Eh, the iron skin kind of matters. The eye's hitting me intermittently, I think. I think they'll last the whole fight, because remember, our damage, once it hits phase 2, the eye's defense drops to 0, and our damage is going to go up considerably. Imagine if I mess up and use my sword somewhere in hard mode. I mean, I would just, like, not care. I'm not going to reset the run because I accidentally deal damage with something that's not a lawnmower. Why do I still have my sword? I just haven't felt like throwing it in the trash yet. No particular reason. 
Um, I mean, I've hit things with my pickaxe on accident, like pot slimes. Not really much I can do about that. Can't I use that more armor penetration stone thing? Right click. I don't think the lawnmower counts as a melee weapon, and I don't think the sharpening station would apply to it. Also, getting the sharpening station would require me to go to the underground jungle and get very lucky finding one. As a reminder, when I did copper short sword only, it took me about six hours to find a sharpening station in the underground jungle. What is the eye going to phase two? I forgot. Is it like... 2500? Mm, he stopped spawning servants of Cthulhu. I wonder if we hit the NPC limit. Slightly after half HP? Hmm. So probably like 2000 HP. I'm just going to remind you, uh, you guys did vote for this. This is this is what you chose to have me do. Probably the least interactive of the four options that I sent. Because, like, paper airplanes, wooden hammer, amethyst staff, you still play the game because they still function as normal weapons. Whereas the lawnmower is jank as fuck and has extremely specific conditions under which it works, which leads to you not really being able to play the game. You just have to engineer very specific situations where you can take damage. And I'll do it. But I'm not doing another low damage run after this. This is the last one. This is the last one you get. In class right now? What class? What are you learning? How would Wall of Flesh be possible? We'll get there when we get there. Math? Hmm. Are you on your phone? Your laptop? Do you have, like, your laptop in math class? You set your computer on fire? Class is gonna finish before the eye dies? Probably. Uh, we probably got another, like, 20 minutes before the eye dies. God. Your phone laptop did. Hmm. I have no idea why, but for some reason, my sister and I, whenever we get food, we have had, like, obscenely bad luck with food, like, just going bad. Particularly meat. And we can't figure out why it's been happening. Because, like, it seems like no matter what we do, um, the meat we have just keeps going bad. Well before it's sell by date. Not cured meat, no, like, uh, but butchered meat, like raw meat, uh, chicken, ground beef, uh, chuck roast, steaks, stuff like that. Um, like, we'll get a thing of chicken with a, a sell by date 10 days in advance and we'll get home and it'll be bad. Um,. Was there a problem we ever used to cool it? No, because we've genuinely gone to the store, driven five minutes back home, opened it up, and it smells sour and it's off. Um, multiple times. It's not the store either, because we've gone to like two or three different stores to buy meat, and it's the same story every time. Um... 
we've tried cooling the refrigerator. The refrigerator temperature is fine. It's at 37 degrees. I've left a thermometer in there for several days. It doesn't fluctuate temperature. It stays constant at 37. Um, it's not like we're getting manager milkdown meat that, like, is close to the sell-by day. It'll be, like, a week out. It'll still go bad. Super early. Um, and not even meat, because we tried getting tofu from the, like, uh, like, packaged, sealed tofu with a date of June 30th. And we opened it up last night, and it smelled like shit, like actual shit, like manure. Um, and we know it wasn't supposed to smell like that, because we had a second one, because we bought two of them. They were both stored in the exact same conditions. The one we opened had gone bad, and then we opened up the second one to check, and that one was fine. It wasn't the refrigeration or anything like that. Don't put it on the cow seats, put it on the cow floor. We usually put it in the trunk. It's also like a five-minute drive home. Do I live in a hot, humid place? Oh, yeah. But, again, it's a five-minute drive home. Here's what you're talking about. The fact that, like, all the meat and things go bad. And, like, it doesn't happen to the milk. The milk's fine. Um, hot dogs, kielbasa, things like that. Those are fine. It's specifically fresh meat. And we also had bad luck with the thing of tofu. But, like, genuinely, there was a day where I got meat for a pot roast. And we got, like, a manager milkdown meat because it was on sale. Um, we were planning to cook it that night. We get it in the morning. Actually, no, we got it at night, and we were planning to cook it the next morning. Uh, open it up. It smells sour. It's off. Okay, whatever. It was a manager mucked out. We go back to the store. Um, we get a refund. We buy another one. We drive home. Open it up directly from the store. Meat's bad. Uh, we go back. Get another refund. Get another thing of meat. Open it up in the poking lot. Meat's bad. Telling me it's a curse. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised. Please stop doing this challenge. Uh, it's too late. It's already begun. Couldn't I use NPCs? No, because that defeats the purpose of the challenge. Uh, our damage will go up a lot here. Yeah, our damage is skyrocketing. Once his defense drops to zero, we're fine. But yeah, the lawnmower cannot crit. Will this be a vet? Uh, probably, but this is going to be a very long time spent live streaming this. Uh, this is... I technically did use NPCs for a bit, so I'm sorry I invalidated the one. This is true. Buffering every three seconds? That sucks. I don't really know what to do about that. Is somebody on your Wi-Fi downloading porn or something? Honestly, I could probably use this exact same setup for every single boss in free hard mode. It, like, this exactly right here. I could do this exact thing for every single free hard mode boss except the Wall of Flesh. Because the Servants of Cthulhu will stick around after the eye dies. So, like, if the brain of Cthulhu was here, the exact same thing would be happening. It would be slower, because he teleports around, you have to wait for the one down there, but it would eventually work out. 
An NPC only run next? No, there is no next. I'm not doing another low damage run after this. This is the last one. How will I kill Wall of Flesh in time? We'll get there when we get there. Look, it's probably going to take, like, genuinely hundreds of hours to kill the Moon Lord. I'm not doing something else after that. I would an NPC damage only one, though? No, they're boring. Um, you don't play the game with NPC damage only. You just sit there and do nothing, and the NPCs attack things, and it's not fun. Centerpiece Reese, you're way too late. Ah, better late than never. You're only about three hours late. So I think after this, I'm gonna go try to set up pylons and housing, beat daytime Empress of Light. No. Honestly, I could probably use this exact setup for, like, most of the bosses in the game. Like, exactly what's going on here. Summon the Eye of Cthulhu, tank suspicious looking eyes, and do exactly this. Like, Plantera? That's probably kick Plantera's ass. What's damaging me? The suspicious looking eyes that the um, Eye of Cthulhu summoned. Oh yeah, uh, Servants of Cthulhu, that's what they're called. Welcome back, BWRWQ. Do I try to get a Shark Tooth Necklace? It'd be really difficult to get one before Skeletron at the earliest, unfortunately. Is the minecart moving? No, but I'm holding down the D key. So the game thinks I'm moving. Because if I don't hold it down, then it doesn't deal damage. So I have to hold down the movement key. What's the next boss? Uh, I'll probably explore the world more before I fight another boss. The next main boss would be the uh, Bane of Cthulhu, though. Um, we may also do King Slime. Honestly, we could probably do King Slime and the Bane of Cthulhu at the same time. Whoa, why did my damage go up? What? Whoa, 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 why? What the hell is going on? Does the Eye of Cthulhu take increased damage in this state? Is that a thing? Does he have a damage vulnerability? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. No, it's not lower defense. Um, he buffed my damage. He didn't, uh... There were so many of them. I can't get rid of them. Uh, okay, hold on.
Both on. No, no, don't, don't kill them. I want to. No, no, no. Stop! Damn it! I'm trying to shut him in. No, I wanted them. I didn't want to get rid of them. I wanted to get the summon item for King Slime. That was loud as fuck. Okay. Let me sell some of this stuff. Difficulty in seed. Uh, this is... Uh, don't dig up. And the game is currently set to master mode, but it's on journey mode and I can adjust the difficulty at will. Now into a wall of flesh to get Badger's hat. I think I'll pass. Uh, furniture? It was, it was this one. A good old quick stack. Potion ingredients. Okay. Let's explore the surface. Yeah. Oh god, it's dark. <laughs> Hello. Hello. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Can't leave me alone. Oh, hello, zombies. Can't leave me alone. Thank you. Anything down here? No. At least the face monsters don't have the absurd speed buff they have in, uh... Get fixed, boy. Try it. Okay. The chest down there. Do I find the early wings with grab potion? Uh, nah. I I could, but I'd be more interested in a lucky horseshoe or balloon, honestly. Um, I probably will check at some point. Um, but I would not be terribly interested in the wings. No, they do spawn in CI chest. There were 1 in 40 chance at secondary loot. Ah, oh, it's just a weed. Damn it, didn't grab it. Anything over here? No, but there's some coal. What do you like? Hey, leave me alone. Me alone. Leave me alone. Glowing mushroom biome, huh? Uh, that's awkward. Stop. Get, let me out. Okay. Uh, no. I would consider paper airplanes much better than the lawnmower. Yo, water walking boots. Okay. 
because paper airplanes are actually functional weapons and you can use them. The lawnmower is incredibly difficult just to get it to deal damage in the first place, and then the damage also sucks on top of that. Uh, paper airplanes can also use frost armor. They also have range. You don't need to be directly on top of enemies. Surely DPS can move. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to deal damage with the lawn power? Let me give you a quick, a quick run through as I try to hit these enemies directly underneath me. Um, this bat, I physically cannot deal damage to unless it is touching the block on the ground as I am jumping on the ground. Or sorry, as I am on the ground. If I jump, I cannot deal damage. I have to be standing on a solid block and walking forward in one direction in order to deal damage with the lawnmower. And then it deals one damage a hit and cannot crit. Once you be standing still, the lawnmower doesn't deal damage if you stand still. You have to move. Or you have to at least be pressing a movement key. Um, like if you're on a minecart track. No, I would consider the paper airplanes much better. Like, they're both doing one damage a hit regardless. You can get range with paper airplanes. You can't get range with a lawnmower, and it's also incredibly difficult to get it to deal damage in the first place because there's very weird requirements. I've used paper airplanes uh, against, like, Duke Fishron. Um, they're not that bad to use. They're just a low damage weapon as opposed to this, which is not a weapon. It's just a piece of shit. <laughs> Let me go home. I need to deposit some of this stuff. Let me sell some stuff. Uh, I'll keep the trident. Water walking boots were a nice find. I'm probably going to want Terra Spark boots. So I can incorporate lava into different arenas. Um, and not have to worry about it. Potions... Is this in journey mode? Uh, yes, but the only journey mode powers I'm allowing myself to use are, like, changing the difficulty. It's mostly so I can fight enemies on higher difficulties. Um, because I don't think something like the Wall of Flesh is going to be possible in anything above Classic. That's the main reason we're on journey mode, is so we can lower the difficulty for the Wall of Flesh, but keep it higher for everything else. I don't want crimson seeds. I don't want acorns either. Hey Jess. Okay. Let's go back to exploring the surface. Do I have any potions that would help out? Uh, Night Owl. Hunter. I will take grab potions too. Oh, the angler. Let's make sure. He's dead. How far are we into the run? Uh, we killed the Eye of Cthulhu. Oh, this is much worse than the Short Sword. Much worse. Yeah. 
the Mowu only deals damage when you are on solid ground. Um, and the target you are attacking is also on solid ground. And you're also moving forward. Those are the conditions for the lawnmower to deal damage. Not only moving, you have to specifically be moving forward. The banner buff supply? I believe they would, yes. Yo, flare gun. What a drastically better weapon than the one I currently have. Like, if I want to kill these zombies... I can't even hit him because he outranges me. And he knocks me back. Because knockback knocks you into the air, and therefore you are not on the ground anymore, and therefore you cannot deal damage. Don't shit talk the flare gun. I love the flare gun. The flare gun is genuinely, like, really good after they buffed it in 1.4.4. By the addition of coast flares. Leave me alone. Bad Primera, leave me alone, Primera. Leave me alone. Jungle. I gotta stop in here. I'm really low on HP. Um, jungle. Yeah. Lava in the... I don't want to break one of these orbs. Because that'll enable goblins to spawn, and I don't want that. Uh... Ah, is there any part of this that is not filled with lava? Alright. 26 gel is a decent amount. Alright. Welcome back, uh, CPU. I'm gonna try to, um... Get into the jungle. Hey, whoa, whoa, get out of here. Wait, what? Oh, I threw a regular bomb. Not a... Why did I choose the name? Because it rhymes. I like things that rhyme. Mobile biome? Okay, we can foam through a hoplite armor here. Gladiator armor. Which uh, I'm not going to do. Uh, jungle actually starts over here. Okay. We're in the jungle. First hoplite? Okay, fine. We'll kill this hoplite. If it drops a piece of the gladiator armor, I'll reconsider. Oh, we beat the eye, yeah.
He didn't drop a single piece. Your feelings are bad. Hot slime! Honestly, the main thing I think I'm interested in getting here is a bucket of honey. Because honey would be very helpful with surviving uh, some bosses. Shark Tales was Will Smith's best career choice. Oh, Moon Glow. I should get Moon Glow. Ideally, oh no. Oh no. Oh, they don't do much damage, okay. Um, blooming Moonglow? Do accessories that hurt enemies count as using the lawnmower? No, they are not the lawnmower. There is no gimmick. There's no catch. There's not some trick I'm going to do to kill things with something that's not the lawnmower. I'm using the lawnmower. It's going to deal one damage a hit. Very slowly. And very difficultly. Oh, with great difficulty. There's... There's no catch. Did I use a cactus to try to kill an enemy? Yeah. I successfully used it. But that's not like an overarching, like, oh yes, I'm using this to avoid using the lawnmower. It's more just an environmental thing that happened to work out because it was conveniently positioned. Uh, okay, I guess we can get the arms dealer to spawn now. Lava hoodie. Lava hoodie. Hold on. Uh, don't dig up lava hoodie. Uh, damn, I don't want to waste the spelunker, but it's going to be tough getting into... Uh... Maybe I just remember that that's there and go dig somewhere else for now. Uh, um, probably get... God, we have so little HP now. After this, I should do only anklet one and copper short sword. I already did copper short sword only. I did that like half a year ago. There are only, to my knowledge, two bosses in the entire game that take lava damage, and those bosses are King Slime and Golem. I don't think she does take lava damage in Phase 1. This thing does one damage to me. It... The only purpose that this thing serves is to stop me from digging downward. I don't care if it hits me. I don't care if the bomb blows it up. Get the fuck out of here. Please. I 
just want to dig in peace. Spike balls? Spike balls are good. There isn't a weapon you could say that would be more difficult than this. I'm just going to let you know right now. The lawnmower is the worst weapon in the game. There, there's nothing else in the game that would be more difficult than this. You might think, like, broken wooden hammer. No, broken wooden hammer can use flasks. You can get venom flasks. You can get golf ball. I don't think golf balls deal damage. NPC damage only? No, I think NPC damage only would grossly out-damage the log mower. Fiberglass rod? I would like that. Especially once you get in hard mode. They do good damage. Like, the truffle? Truffle hits hard. I want those teleportation potions too, but I think getting them would be a tall order right now. So I am the lagging is game. What? I desire the honey. Okay. Operational objectives completed. I think we're out of the jungle now. I'm not. Journey mode, you're bad. Thank you. Uh, jungle is rough when you can't fight anything and lava does 200 damage. You have an idea for one that would be annoying but not as hard as this? I don't care. I wouldn't do it. Oh, mine could only? I might do mine could only. Because mine codes actually do good damage. Once you get the mine code laser kit. And, uh, most of the game would not be very difficult. It's only particular specific bosses that would pose any kind of challenge to mine code only. I want to get a goblin. Default minecart only? No. I just wouldn't do that. Sounds boring. Sounds annoying. Uh, okay. I guess I'll make some battle potions and try to just... Oh, wait. I don't have... Uh, Votapa. Shit. How would you beat Retinazer with a minecart? Probably clever use of teleporters and bouncing around at high speeds. Can you teleport on a minecart? I want goblins. I'm going to look for a goblin scout more goblin scouts can you i don't know calamity mode lawnmower only no i don't like calamity mod that much i don't i don't people seem to have this fixation with trying to suggest things that are more difficult i don't care i'm not going to do them i would do mommy milkers only I would do that. I've thought about doing that a couple times. I still might do that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and light up this place and just try to look for scouts. I think goblin scouts can spawn here. What are mommy milkers? Uh, the mommy milkers in Calamity Mod. Brimstone Elemental. The other ones. Oh, hold on, hold on. We can lawn mower while water walking. That counts as... Hmm. 
I wonder if Titan Potions also increase the knockback of the Logmower. I should check that, because that could be helpful. Um, if I could use the Titty Potion. Because uh, that would make stun locking things more feasible. They won't be on the ground when I'm on water. The I the Titan t t Titan potion Titan potion. Oh, what did you think I said? I, I mean, I, I definitely said Titan Potion. I got honey now, so that's good. But yeah, um, then you know the specifics of Goblin Scout spawning and Don't Dig Up? Is there a particular part of the true surface that I have to be in, or is it just anywhere in the true surface they can show up, or what? I would not be that surprised that porn exists of anything. Your default state should be to assume that somebody's been horny for it, and somebody's made porn of it. Hence rule 34. Oh, it's you, Shark Tales. Is there a better way to farm for Goblin Scouts? Let me check the Don't Dig Up page, see if it has any information on Goblin Scouts. Area, Don't Dig Up. Uh, Control F, Scout. No. Uh, enemies. Lava slime, mimics, ice mimic, wraith, face monster, no. Environment? Uh. Ocean? Except the innermost 14% of the world, the layer is considered ocean 50% of the time. That means all the enemies, critters, and angler that spawn in the ocean will be able to spawn there, but spawn rate is reduced. Uh. There's not any specific inf The problem is to get battle potions, I have to kill crimson enemies for vertebra. Which, like... Maybe I could get some face monsters. I can give it a shot. Uh, we are pre-Skeletron, but I could check the dungeon, because sometimes you can get a water candle pre-Skeletron. Let's go back to the surface. And let's do that. Let's go hit up the dungeon, see if one spawns. Uh, this is Oh, hello. Yeah, mom. Having 
this place be illuminated would be mighty convenient, but I'm not certain I'm going to get that lucky. I don't like spawn rates here. I do not appreciate it. Uh, the dungeon should be an actual dungeon. Um, because this is not get fixed, boy. This is just don't dig up. Glowing mushroom biome on the surface? Wait, what's that? Water candle. anything else we can get. You know, yellow. Crimson chest. Okay. Crimson or blue thingamajiggy for boss loot? Circle slam thingies? I have no idea what that means. Could you restate that question? What I was hoping for was to find a brown chest, which unfortunately did not happen. If I found a brown chest, I would quite possibly... Um... Option for which choice pike worms go. Oh, you're asking for whether I prefer crimson or corruption? Is that the question? Let's go see if we can kill some face monsters. I think that'll be our best bet. The boss loot? Like. Fremtain and Demonite armor or Shadow armor or like the Worm Scarf or Brain of Confusion or what? I'm from the US, Master Rico. Worm Scarf, Brain of Confusion is better than the Worm Scarf. Musket is better than Undertaker. My social security number? Uh, 1 800 your mom. Like lawnmower has piercing at least. Alright, let's cut the grass. This character has major dad energy. You know, on Easter with my sister, we figured out. So here, you know how like. The classic dad behavior during a lot of these things will be to, like, stand outside with a drink while everyone else is, like, inside socializing. I completely understand that. Because, like, it's exhausting being around people, and you can just, like, go outside and talk to somebody and stand outside but look like you're doing something important. Or, like, you know, the kid's out mowing the lawn. Uh, it does mowly, yes. If you walk up against a wall, it counts as moving. That's what I'm doing now. But notably, this does not apply if you're hooked. Oh, what the f- I just walked through the block there. So we can farm face monsters pretty confidently. In fact, we're probably going to farm a lot of face monsters here because it's not going to be very feasible to farm face monsters once hard mode comes. 
Um, we may also be able to farm the other ones of these, too. Um, here. Let me make a little... It's 0.33% less damage reduction, effectively. Um, yes and no, because the Worm Scout damage reduction is not 17% in practice, because it does not scale well with defense, because damage reduction does not scale well with defense. So, in reality, the effective damage you're taking is going down by less than 17%. Because damage reduction applies after defense, so you don't get the level of damage reduction that you would want. I could not do this to blood crawlers, I don't think. Unless I had walls. Actually, if I had walls, I could probably do it to blood crawlers. Let's make a little crimson trap here. Let's optimize this. Um... You know, the main, like, the one thing that Wormscarf is good at is making sure you don't get one shot in situations where, um, you care about it, like on Hardcore, but for the vast majority of purposes, it's just worse than the Brain of Confusion is. I don't know if I'll really be able to deal with a Chimera. Let's see if I can kill Bloodcrawlers, though. Yes, I can. Okay. It used to be significantly better than the Brain of Confusion centerpiece, Reese. The Brain of Confusion used to be absolute trash before 1.4. Um, and I think that's still ingrained in a lot of people's heads. So, okay, so we have a vertebra farm. I like this. I'll get some collateral falling star kills too. Interesting, I can't actually hit the blood crawlers like this. Huh. They're too high up on the ground. What if I were to do this? Hmm. Okay. In that case, I probably want to exclude blood crawlers from falling in here, if possible. Can I do that? Is three wide enough that? No, blood crawlers can get in three wide. I think. Okay. Let's uh, drain out this water. The problem is once hard mode comes around, floaty gross are able to spawn, so we wouldn't be able to pull this off then. Actually, do I, I don't really care about water. Okay. Back to mowing the grass. Now, the lawnmower does have infinite piercing. It seems like, within its range. That is a positive. It is also ear-splittingly loud. Uh, hearing all these damage choices. Oh, interesting. I think the water is interfering with my ability to hit these Chimera. Let me, uh, drain out the rest of this water. Hold on, stop. I don't- Stop! I need to mine- Okay. Oh no, I just can't hit the smaller Chimera. Oh, I could also farm burgers like this. That is true. Okay, um... I need to... fix this. 
because there are a couple flaws with this design. Firstly, this needs to be taller on this side, because blood crawlers I can't deal with. I don't want them in here. And then... The rest of this should be fine. Better get underground to get a gnome. Do all the corruption enemies drop burgers, or is it just Chimera? This is actually a very effective farm um, for doing this. If I had a shark tooth necklace, which I could get a shark tooth necklace. Oh, sorry, I meant crimson enemies. If I said corruption enemies. Here, let me, uh... Try to fix this. There we go. If I had actuators, I get a switch. And once we get a banner, I think our damage is going to go up quite a lot. Just Chimeras. Okay. Well, Chimeras are the ones that are difficult to kill. Not as tough as blood crawlers, though, thankfully. We can kill the big Chimeras, the smaller ones, their hitboxes. I'm hitting them sometimes. You can see the small Chimeras are the ones that have, like, the slightly different... I'm going to turn down the, uh... Sound a bit. It's really loud. <laughs> Also, um, my sister and I had started getting these from the grocery store recently. I don't know if you guys are familiar with them, but, um, Wild Mike's Pizzas, they were frozen pizza. I like those frozen pizzas a lot. Where do Cremera keep their burgers? Um, wouldn't you like to know? If I had actuators, I could, um, I think this height, is that the, I think one lower than that. Yes. Okay. And in this case, the super high spawn rates are just boot, uh, boons. Those pizza are just food parents would get babysitters. The babysitters can feed their kids. What, the pizzas? I like frozen pizzas. What do you mean? Are you saying the wild... No, the wild Mike pizzas are fucking good. They're really good frozen pizzas. Favorite fast food chain pizza? None of them. I don't like uh, chain pizza restaurants, really. Pizza Hut. Eh, I'd rather just go to a local pizza place. The prices are not that much more expensive. The pizza is also way better. Let me mark the height that I need to do this at. So I'd want to let them run, put it there. Okay. I mean, I think as far as frozen pizzas go, I'd take it over pretty much any other frozen pizza. Which was what I was getting at. How are you on a vertebra? Nine so far. Pretty good amount. 
so we're gonna have to decide how many things we want to foam before hard mode comes because once hard mode comes i feel like i'm european i live on the east coast of the u.s um once hard mode comes floaty gross are gonna make foaming like this basically although actually we might be able to foam floaty gross like this if the floaty gross get knocked back considerably because they have very low knockback resistance we might be able to stun lock floaty gross like this That's an interesting thought. I'm excited to get a banner, though. I'm going to farm until I get a banner, and then I'm going to see what our damage changes to. Because I think our damage is going to skyrocket once we get a banner. Because we're going to go from 8 to 16, and I think it's going to penetrate their defense. So we're probably going to do, like, 5 damage a hit after the banner, if I would guess. Which is 5 times our current DPS. Yeah, no, I don't live in Europe. I was not born in Europe either. Nor am I from a family of immigrants. Uh, I'm American. I forget, did they add a kill counter to the bestiary? They did. 21 kills. Okay. We're getting there. They're saying that you use the wrong Yor. You use the possessive Yor, implying that European is something that belongs to me, and not you are as a contracted uh, word. This is what most of this run is going to be like, by the way, is just doing this. Like, there's, there's just not very much that's going to be interesting about this. Like, when you guys say, oh, do it with this weapon, this is what that entails. Especially when it's a really janky weapon like the lawnmower. Like, this is what playing the game with the lawnmower entails. This is... It's just cutting grass for a very long time. Yes, this is the last low damage run I'm going to do. This is also by far the most difficult low damage run that I could do. It doesn't get harder than this. Even, like, people say Broken Wooden Hammer. Broken Wooden Hammer is not worse than the Lawnmower. Broken Wooden Hammer benefits from melee buffs. It benefits from flasks. It benefits from the Magma Stone. Um, whereas, to my knowledge, the Lawnmower does not. Paper Airplanes benefit from Frost Armor. They also are ranged weapons, so you can get distance from things. Um... The Amethyst Staff and Wander Sparking have really high base damage. It's like 15 and 14 base damage. They, like, can do actual damage. I'm not doing it on Get Fixed, boy. I'm doing it on Don't Dig Up. That's close enough. Like, I'm sure half the people, if you showed them this right now, uh, you could convince them it was Get Fixed, boy. The most notable thing about Get Fixed, boy, is the world gen. That's what most people think of when they think of it. Yeah, it would not be possible on Get Fixed Boy, I believe, because the Wall of Flesh simply would not be possible to kill with the Lawnmower on that difficulty. Hey, Nubia. So, for those of you that aren't here for this, the reason I'm doing this, I want to get goblins, but I don't want to destroy a Crimson Heart, because that would enable, um, 
goblin invasions to happen for the rest of the game. And given the amount of time we're going to be doing things, I really don't want to have to deal with goblins uh, in, like, hard mode or... They're just inconvenient in the first place, especially since I can't use lava to kill them because it's get fixed. Oh, don't take up. Um, which means I need to get goblin scouts, but in order to get goblin scouts, I need to wait for random spawns in the true surface. Oh, false surface. Um, so I have to go down there and um, wait for them to spawn, but in order to do that effectively, I need battle potions and a water candle, which I'm farming for vertebra right now. Um, I have a little trap set up. Uh, where, I'll showcase this, uh, I'm basically, no, I'm sure there'll be more secret seeds centerpiece, Reese. Uh, I can't attack blood crawlers like this, um, but I can attack face monsters and chimera, so I have a trap set up so they come down here and get stuck, and then, uh, once they're here, I can start cutting the grass, uh, and hitting them. Now, because of how the lawnmower works, I have to do this in a very specific way. In order to deal damage with the lawnmower, you have to be moving forward, specifically moving forward. You can't be moving backwards or up and down. You have to be moving forward. Uh, you have to be on, th on the ground or on a surface. I need to look into a bit more into how it works specifically, but there's some element of you have to be touching the ground. The enemy you're attacking also has to be on the ground. Um, I think. And the hitbox is also very small. Uh, it's basically the very bottom of the lawnmower there. That's the hitbox. You see that Chimera horizontal? Those things aren't always getting hit by it because they're smaller. It's basically just barely where the like blade would be on the mower that the hitbox is. And that's, um, that's what we're working with. And like I said, this is the last time I'm doing a low damage run. This is the last one. I'm not doing another one after this. Um, I, they'll make harder seats than get fixed, boy. I, I'm sure V-Logic would try to one-up people, um, with difficult seats. And I'm sure they'd probably, um... Or they'd add a system where, like, you can select what seed elements get added, and they add more seeds, and then you could just choose to add, like, every part of every seed, including the newer ones. Or maybe they'll make Get Fixed Boy include the newer seeds. Who knows? We'll have to wait for 1.4.5. Although I will say, I'm not terribly excited for 1.4.5, because people keep spoiling everything that's in 1.4.5, and that more or less kills my interest in it. It's very annoying. I'm at the point now where it's more just like, eh, it's an update. There's stuff in it. Whatever. Oh, I see you, Quoxy. Yeah, I'm sure there's stuff we don't know about, but it's annoying because that just means that there's no interest or excitement in playing it and discovering things because it feels like people have already spoiled a large chunk of what's in it. Let's get a close-up shot. Look at him mowing that grass. What is going on with my arm? Do you see that? It's like... The arm sprite is clipping through... The, um... Uh, shoulder pad, where's that, pauldron of the armor, as it's going back and forth on the lawnmower. What 
my kill counts looking like? Thirty-six face monsters, twenty-eight Chimera. Like I said, once we get these banners, this would be a lot better. Yeah, Relog this game is broken. How dare they charge people for this game? Like, they expect people to pay money for this buggy piece of, like, just absolute mess. It's honestly disgusting. I think the easiest way to convince people that there's not going to be another Terraria update would be to work on something else. Because that's the main reason that I'm not convinced that ReLogic is done with Terraria is... To my knowledge, they're not working on other projects. And like, if they're not working on other projects, they're probably just going to keep working on Terraria. If they were to announce they were working on a different project, I would probably believe them when they said that an update was going to be the last one. And maybe they'd come back with another one much later. Um, Three is a number. That's a controversial statement. I'm, I'm proud of you for taking that uh, that stance. Not many people would have the balls to say that. Kind of annoying when they announce it's their final update. It's kind of just a thing with them at this point. I'm sure they intend for it to be the final update. Um, a lot of these they've intended for them to be the last update, but then they end up just getting in the mood to update it more. And I think that's probably just because you have, you know, game developers not working on another project. And they're like, hey, what if we just added more stuff to Terraria? That's why I feel like if they were working on a different project for them to spend their time on, I'd be more compelled to believe them when they say they're done updating the game. And it's usually a long period of time that goes on between them saying it's the final update, given the update, and the next one coming. Like 2015 to 1.4... Well, 1.3 to 1.4 was five years. Um, 1.2 to 1.3 was, I think, a couple years between uh, 1.2.4 and 1.3. 1.4.4 .4 was like a solid year after, and they were they did it because like Trey had won the Labor of Love Award or whatever. Um, If they would make Toyo 2 what I want it to look like. Yeah. Well, it's kind of just a thing with them at this point, Centipede. Like, it's kind of a... I'm sure ReLogic has a sense of humor, and it's something of a running joke with themselves, too. Like, the fact that they keep saying things are the final update, and then they're not the final update. Like, if I was in a situation where I kept doing something and said this would be the final one and I kept doing it, I would keep saying it because that's just funny at that point. And it's entirely, it just might just be like an in-joke with them. Like, yeah, yeah, it's the final update. Trust me. Um. I don't. I'll be honest. I wouldn't be like extremely interested in a Terraria 2. Like, I would play a Terraria 2. I'd probably enjoy a Terraria 2. I might play a lot of Terraria 2, but I feel like I don't know what I would think of that I would want in Terraria 2 that isn't in Terraria 1. Uh, it is boring. Yes. Uh... You don't mind the constant updates? I mean...
I don't want the game to stop being supported, but at the same time, I wouldn't be upset if they moved on to work at, on other projects. I mean, the game's 12 years old. I mean, the main thing that I think would change in a sequel is um, a rework of the code of Terraria, because Terraria's code is just, like, complete spaghetti, and it's really bad. And because of it, there's a lot of jank in the game and a lot of things that don't work properly. Um, and, like, they genuinely cannot add more paint to the game because the code is just, like, held together with wet noodles. Um, and that's why, like, Echo Coating and Illuminum Coating are coatings and they're not paints. Um, like, that's why summoners can't crit is because of, like, it was initially a coating issue, I believe. Um... I, mean, I don't have any particular desires for Terraria 2, because I'm pretty content with Terraria 1. There's not really much that I would think to add to that would be particularly notable. I mean, I could think of things, sure, but they're not like, oh yeah, I really want this. Just be like, oh yeah, that'd be cool to have, I guess. Do you mean Metroidvania? Would they hire people to clean up their code? It would probably break things. I don't know. I'm not we logic. I don't know what they could or couldn't do. Two four counts up. Thirty four. 45. Okay, we almost have a face monster banner. I'm just excited to see what our damage... That's the main reason I've been doing this. I want to get the banner and see what happens to my damage. Get that banner. Give me that banner. Come on. One more? One more. Make sure you're to an anime dating simulator? True. Nice. Okay. Let's see what our damage goes to. Nine damage a hit with the banner? Holy shit. He's OP as fuck. We can actually like kind of efficiently farm these now. If we got a banner for the Chimera too.
<laughs> They're going to nerf it, yeah. Yeah, I remember a couple people were passive-aggressively annoyed at me after I made that video on the Lucky Coin Farm. Because then the devs were going to nerf it. Took from Mirror Kill Count. 37. <sighs> The Cremero are tougher to kill. They have janky hitboxes. Because of how they wiggle it, they wiggle around. But once I get that banner, the damage against Cremero is going to be high. Because they have less defense than the face monsters, I think. Because they're taking like 2 and 3 damage per hit sometimes. Is when the concept of nerfing unusual when it comes to primarily single player games? Eh, I mean. I think it makes sense. Because it's usually items are in the game for a, for a reason. My microphone is currently, like, in my pants. There we go. Uh. And usually, if it's not balanced to the level that they want it, they'll nerf it. Usually to make it so other items are viable and usable. Um, like... That sounded like an off? Oof? Mm. Uh, I just knocked my uh, microphone off my desk on accident. Um, like, if you look at, like, I don't know, pre patch vampire knives or something. Uh, like, they were just obscenely powerful. And, like, if they didn't get nerfed... Why would you ever use anything else? Like, it would just make everything in the game trivial if you were to use them. How did my microphone fall into my pants? Um... Like, the, uh... Wait, like, the hole? Um... Like, I have my legs crossed, and there's, like, a... A, 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 a divot? I don't know. Like, when my legs are overlapping, and it fell right in there. Um... Help me step out, my microphone fell into my pants. True, I could just be using vampire knives right now. I could probably optimize this farm a lot. Yo, a burger! There it is. First one. Okay, one walk from error. Alright. The farm is fully operational now. 11 damage? That, this is pretty efficient now. Um, for a lawnmower, this is a solid rate of killing enemies. And it's also, like, not bad for money either. I've gotten 8 gold from this. And now that I kill things significantly faster, the money gains would be a lot better. Um, this has potential. Um, although, I think I would probably farm this off stream. If I wanted to get... I don't know if I'm going to want more than 37 vertebra. Because that is a lot of vertebra. Um, but I think we're, we're set with this for now. And all of that was just to get vertebra so we could... Uh, hold on, I need to get my water candle. It was just to get vertebra so we could make battle potions. 
to buff the spawn rates of goblin scouts. Wrath potion away. By being the game at max zoom. Uh, I've no, I've thought about it, but I just don't think it would be very interesting. I mean, I beat the game with the brain suckler blindness. And I think during that, I was max zoomed in most of the time. Um, is it better to farm for voodoo dolls or throw the guide in lava? Uh, throw the guide in lava. I mean, there's not really any advantage that voodoo dolls have over it, except for being potentially easier to transport to a particular location. Is there an NPC that lives in here? Wait. Whose house is that? Who lives here? Is... Does the tax... Does this count as the tax collector's place? It must, because who else would be there? I put fishing stuff in here. And then the boomstick in here. And the trident, snake charmer's flute. Put these in furniture. Just down here. Okay. Let's go try to kill some goblin scouts. Hmm. I'm also probably going to farm blood zombies. Um, which I made. It's probably worth farming blood zombies before I move on to kill other bosses. Because we have the blood zombie statue. <clears throat> we don't have a timer. But um, we could make an engine with a red pressure plate. Um, if we could find one. Oh wait, I didn't make the um, potions. Alright. Battle potion time. Yeah, I think I will probably foam blood zombies off stream because that would just be very very boring to watch um but i think a shark tooth necklace would help expedite the fights a lot because that would effectively raise our damage from uh eight to about 10 or 11 which uh for getting through the defense if we have more enemies can be pretty significant because that'll bring you up from like one to two damage it hit a lot of the time, which is effectively double DPS. If we had it on the eye, we would be doing like five damage a hit in the first phase instead of uh whatever number we were doing. I'll head off to the right there. And battle potion? I wish Goblin Scouts had an identifiable noise. There was an enemy down there. Wasn't there? Wait, goes zombie. Okay. I want flares, not the flare. Oh, I want uh, glow sticks, not the flare gun.
A lot of mobs share the same nose noise. Yeah, yeah, but Goblin Scouts don't have a noise. Um. Like, at all. They just, they just don't make one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Who wouldn't mind a life form analyzer? That'd make this a lot easier. really any way for me to kill these enemies is the issue to open up more spawning slots oh traveling merchant he might have a light form analyzer I guess cement mixer though. That could come in handy. Yo, Goblin Scout! Okay. That's one. Yeah, this is ideal. This level of knockback. Where I can just stun lock them. There we go. Okay, so it seems like they can just spawn wherever. Um, in this region. I don't know what Sunshine of Isra Pony is. I mean, it seemed like a My Little Pony thing, but... Other than that, I don't know. Like, is it referencing something specific? Oh, is it like the Yogg's Cast thing? I think I remember seeing something about that. If that's the case, somebody on the dev team is probably just like a Yogg's Cast fan or something. Wanted to add an item. Hey, what do you see where the Yogg's Cast did? I mean, I feel like the answer is somebody on the dev team likes one or both of those things, and wanted to put it in the game. It's a long time ago. Mm. I, I, I don't think there's like a specific reason it is what I was, was getting at. It's just like, oh yeah, probably just like it. I don't know. They very well might have been like, hey, we want to add a bunch of paintings to the game that are references to things. Who has ideas for things you want to add? And then somebody brought that up and they were like, okay, sure. I, I could see that being a possibility. Because there are a lot of very, very, like, niche references um, in those paintings and vanity sets and things like that. Oh, 
other than the tiger? Well, like the Master Gamer set. Wasn't that a reference to like a show from like the 80s or something? I forget. Captain, end the game, Master. I still don't even know what the tiger is referencing. People just say it's some furry thing. I think. Still not really even sure. Wish it was easier to get these goblin scouts. Yeah, it's just a furry OC. It's somebody's fursona. Mm. Like somebody on the dev team? That's really funny. To me. Like, oh yeah, we need to add some things to paintings. Okay, uh, what about my fursona? Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Okay, uh, let's try killing this Mimic again. We had tried before and had messed up. So, how can we deal damage to this thing safely? I have an idea. Fuck, but what do- Because I have to move. Let me check something. Let me do a little hoik testing. What happens if I have... I don't think it's even anybody on the dev team. That's somehow even funnier. So this one kicks me in that direction. I put the wrong one here. Um... Yeah, okay. okay. What if I were to... Like that, okay. Got him. Okay. That's how we can kill Mimics. Using a block swap one-way platform hook to stop it from jumping out at me. And then doing the same thing of digging two blocks and walking towards it. You also just could see him, like, jumping around in there. His mouth never opens. Alright, what are we gonna get? Uh, my money's on Cloud in a Bottle. I think we're gonna get Cloud in a Bottle. Wand of Spoking? Uh, these ones don't drop Wand of Spoking. 
It would if it was in hard mode. Magic dagger? Um, no. Ooh, surface chest loot isn't in the gold chest mimics. It's only the underground loot. Okay, another magic mirror. Well, because the magic, like the, how many coins did I get? Five. The remix weapon swaps. Magic dagger comes from surface chests. It's swapped with the wand of sparking. Um, but surface chest loot isn't what these mimics drop. These mimics drop gold chest loot, underground chest loot. Oh, we found one goblin scout so far. Uh, and then the one we found earlier. I kind of feel like um, ending ending this stream with maybe like playing one or two missions in XCOM 2. I don't know. I've really been enjoying playing XCOM uh, and streaming it. Yeah, you'd buy that from the Skeleton Merchant or find it in surface chests. Also, I'm getting kind of bored of farming for these things, and I could just farm for this stuff off stream. And then just tomorrow I could have the tattered cloth already and not have to sit here and stream trying to farm goblins that don't feel like showing up. So I kind of want to just switch over to playing XCOM for maybe like half an hour or an hour and then end the stream. These goblins really don't like showing up, huh? All right, see you, Team NWG. I wonder if... Interesting. I don't think the damage from jellyfish gets reflected if you lawn mower them. How come more people are watching you grinding Vodafone and now when I'm actually doing things? Uh, I don't know. They got bored of watching me grind vertebra and left. Okay, I think... I want to go switch over to play some XCOM 2. Uh, for maybe, like, a mission or two. Uh, because I'm getting kind of bored of just doing all this farming and I can do that off-stream. Uh, but there's also not very much for me to do aside from farming for goblins here. So I can go do something else. Uh, what was that? Five hours? Four, four hours, 41 minutes. Got through the eye. Uh, okay, let me change the stream title so you don't have... Okay. <clears throat> uh, so I'd started last week uh, a classic Iron Man save in XCOM 2, uh, which was just going fantastically uh, on stream. Uh, nobody died. Everybody's still alive. Spider-Man's not dead. Spider, 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 Spider-Man's still alive in our hearts. Uh, game is not responding. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> uh, 
And um, XCOM, if you're not familiar, is a uh, like squad management game, uh, strategy game, where you um, control soldiers and essentially have to kill enemy units while accomplishing objectives. Um, and it would have been... This one? Check. I think this one. Uh, let me check who's dead. That'll be all good. When you're tired or hungry or no. just need a treat. No, not that one. Hold on. I started a lot of saves somewhat recently. I think it would have been this one then. This one. Because I was playing around with a couple of different options. I really liked. There's an option beta strike, which doubles the health of all. All the enemies and your units, and it really switches up the game in a way that I liked a lot. Ye yes, this is the one. Rest in peace, Pink Lizard, Spider Man, Scouts, Money Marshes, TF2, Sniper, Rivulet, and Red Spy. Who is that? Oh, yo, Blue Spy! Right. Okay. Who do we have right now? Uh. Blue Lizard, John Wick, Blue Spy, Kleiner, Madeline Celeste, Freeman, John Halo, Dr. Robotnik. Right, we got the narrator from Darkest Dungeon. These discoveries of the Elder's horrific experiments on our people should come as no surprise. But that does not make And I think we got the upgrade to the max squad size. No, not yet. Okay. They would take not only our power and our and world, Skulljack but Advent the Officer. Of our very being as well. Uh and covert action. Okay. Um I should get another Templar. What sergeant? I should I could send Madeline. Let me send Madeline. I'll send Madeline and Alex in case this in case they get ambushed. My followers will lead this action to victory. Okay. Oh, also, what is um what are our items looking like? I think we got the armor and weapon upgrades. What can I do for you, Commander? I remember correctly. Uh, we have most of the weapon upgrades, and I think we got the armor upgrades. Shadow Keeper, Ionic Axe. We need more alien alloys. Okay. I saw Tygen muttering to himself in one of the corridors. I'm not sure he even noticed me. Bradford trusts him, but I'm still keeping my eyes open. Also low on intel. Okay. What's going on here? I'm searching for alloys. Uh, there's an alien facility in New Chile. There's one in West Asia. Um, it would be easier to... hmm. Do I have... I don't think I have radio relays in any of these. I'd rather... I think that one... Yes, there is one of the really dangerous aliens in that facility. So I think I'm going to go for this one, because it'll be an easier mission. But I want alloys to upgrade my stuff. Oh, supply weight. Setting course for the South African sector. That'll get me some alloys. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces right. will need to be especially vigilant. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Okay. What are my soldier options? Blue Spy's tired. Okay, we'll take Eminem. That's fine. Um, Difficult mission, huh? I 
do I have any specialists? Why do you have a pistol as your primary weapon? Take your shotgun. I'll give him the skull jack, I suppose. How many supplies do I have? So I could have a lot of supplies. Let me put some flashbangs and medkits on people. Make utility items available. Oh, interesting. Flashbang grenades take the same slot as regular grenades. Okay. This will be potentially kind of difficult, because these are not very good soldiers. Most of my soldiers are wounded after we had taken on the, the black site. My like good soldiers. Squad green to but I'd like to get whatever supplies I can. Because it's a good chance for alloys. But I'm not going to be too attached to the idea. And if necessary, I'll probably call for an evac. Our latest intel suggests Advent ran into problems while airlifting supplies from a secure depot in this area. The airlift missions. We have okay. an opportunity here to take advantage of their delay. The airlift missions. Locate their supply crates and tag okay. them with our transponders. Firebrand will pick oh, up the damn. signal and snatch bit. the cargo. So the way these Advent ones work forces are in the process of airlifting is a number of supply crates out of this area. There are supply crates throughout the map. Opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. And locate and mark the crates with transponders. And Firebrand will handle the rest. We're basically in a race against Advent, the enemy forces. Um to airlift out crates before they do. Um and so you have to be quick in the map trying to mark these things before um, they start to take it. Uh, but it's a little awkward because... Order's confirmed. Moving out. That's not what m, &M sounds like. Khajiit will follow. Oh, he saw something. I don't know if they start airlifting things. Seize this momentum. Oh yeah, we got the darkest dungeon narrator. That's our... That's our skirmisher. I want to maintain stealth for as long as I can. Um, All right. I don't know if they start airlifting things until I break stealth. I want to test that. Yeah, I'll probably break stealth on those guys over there. Copy that. Khajiit understands. Very well. Press onward. Very well. Oh, shit. Advent captain would serve our purposes nicely, if it can be disabled. Shit. Pick up the stun lancer. And maybe I'll, depending on where the officer moves, I might try to skill jack him. You missed! He's standing still! This Argo does not have great hit odds. I might be able to rip Jack. Ugh. Okay.
Nice aim. Chance is a fickle thing. Time is short. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. You'll never get out of here. Uh, it's very wind. About how you'd expect for lawnmower only. You're welcome to try. Um, XCOM's been fine. Why can't I see them now? What are my soldiers have eyes on? Okay, I'm gonna prep an ambush and expect these guys to push forward at me. Come on, hit him, Jisogo. Okay, good. Kajit comes out on top. I want to skulljack that officer. Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. With that viper, quickly, it'd be suicide be to, to mark them for ourselves and prevent their airlift. Send a soldier in to try to get that um that crate up there. Hope nobody saw that. Oh, what happened? God, where's Fire the officer? Brand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. All right. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. The awkward thing about this is that, um... Okay. Grenades attract more of the loss. And as a result, I really don't want to use explosives unless I, I have to. Um Location I'm gonna move confirmed. Ammo up here. Oh, that officer comes out here. Let us claim this place anew. What I'm concerned about is triggering that part of Advent just Vipers. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. We're not prepared for it. Okay, well there they are. Must have found one of my terms. Nice shot. Scarier. Titty snack. God, you're such a snowy bismuck. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. That is a specter, is the unit's name. Wait. That is a lot of lost that just showed up. 47% on the Spectre. Problem is, Jizago's out of ammo. Let's see what we can pop with our pistol. Those dashers have a lot of HP. The way these lost work is if you shoot them and kill them, um with one attack you get your action back or uh, if you kill them with a shot uh it doesn't consume your action it's probably a better way to put it um What's done is done. which makes it a weird gamble now that's 
because you want to kill as many as you can, but there's a chance you're going to miss each shot. Snipers are particularly good at this because they don't have to reload their pistols. Well, I... <clears throat> I want to get shadow bound. Kleiner should be able to clean up the, um... Excellent. Couple of lost right here. The oh. dashers are the scary Ooh. ones. Okay, the officer's on the other side of that wall there. That brute's concerning. The dashers are... Thank God are very fast as you'd expect. And it's a lot easier for them to get close to you to attack you. Wouldn't you like to get one of I these really don't blood know. samples under a microscope? As I expected, I remain uncomfortable. Make this thing work. What am I backing you up on? Telling lies is bad, Bismarck. Don't lie. I won't be able to kill this guy, but at least to damage him so the next shot will finish him off. Got 12 HP, which is a lot. Uh... Let me go for killing this guy. The special ability of skirmishers, which is what the narrator is. Um... Eradicated. Regroup. Resupply and reassemble. But be quick. Mm -hmm. They're moving as quickly as they can to get those crates. Right up there. If we want our share, we'll have to move just as fast. Fuck off, pal. More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. that legal? He'll make it legal. Someone do something! God, I wish that was me. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Damn, somebody lost here. Do we just move the entire map in one turn and tune one of your units to Matrix? Yeah. Alright. Kleiner, what's your sword damage like? Seven and nine? Alright, go fuck him up. I think Robotnik should be able to finish him off. 86%? Eminem <laughs> needs to reload. Damn it. Ah, uh, fuck. The officer's over there. I can't- I can't collect any of these crates this turn. Let me 
shield off. So the officer's right there. I want to skulljack the officer. I would be more interested in that than um trying to recover all these supplies. He even put up a proper fight. Gajit does not remember the agents of pestilence will yet be driven from one. our woods. You know, uh, a lot of the enemies in this game have very powerful abilities, like the Spectres. What are you doing? Oh, he's he ran to me and then mugged some random-ass target on the other side of the map. Okay, he's not the brightest. We gotta kill a Codex, though. I'm just hearing the sound of slithering. Okay. Another misfortune. Yeah, most of the enemies in this game have weird powerful abilities like that, where they just move across the map and then uh incapacitate one of your soldiers and make a clone of them. Um that then fights you. Uh There are not very many enemies in this game that just follow, like, generic... Oh, they're just... You just realized that's the darkest dungeon narrator? I said they were the... Whatever. Okay, let's jack this guy off. You'll never get out of here! We have complete access to the advent site. I'm using the skulljack to to jack our systems to processing the new data. I'm jacking him. We will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our intrusion. Commander, that appears to be the codex responsible for safeguarding the alien data stores. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. Mm -hmm. I'll try it. Got him. like this. The Codex is projecting multiple copies of itself into our dimension. Uh, that's not very good hit odds on that thing. Can Eminem get in for a shot on it? He could, but it might not kill it. Uh, it's probably worth trying, at least. You... Okay, never mind, Eminem. We'll not go in for a shot on it. Whoa, sniper NA, yeah. 35% uh, is really not good odds. Let's see if this finishes this guy off. Okay. Did he foresee his own demise? 31%. Okay. Let me start with killing this thing. I believe in Jizago. Jizago can get it done. Kick his ass, Jizago! Fuck. God damn it, Chizago. This is disappointing. It is. I really don't want to use an explosive as the thing. Fuck it. Robotnik's got it. That could have gone better.
spent all my OMG on that loss. What, the 75% hit odds? God damn! Zooming around the map. Okay. Bomb. Teleport. Bomb. The codex appears to be Bomb. in a state of flux. Okay. Existing simultaneously across multiple dimensions. Sounds like the lost are getting a lot closer to our. Oh, I don't know if that commander. bomb's gonna trigger a lost. Damn it. It's really difficult for me to move out to get these supplies, unfortunately. There's just too much shit going on. Eminem, go pop a cap in You know that was good. Excellent work, Commander. It appears some physical remnant of the Codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the aliens' ongoing plans. Yeah, the way that, um... That bomb attack works is it's a delayed explosive. It's basically area denial. Um, it's a delayed explosive that causes all of your soldiers to run out of ammunition. Um, ah, yes, you're right. Which basically means you can't stay in this. You basically just have to move out of the area. It'll explode the next turn. Um, but the running out of ammo thing is awkward. I'm hoping those. Uh, Vipers will just be distracted by the, uh... The Lost? Face the best, fall like the rest. Yeah, I can probably start moving out to get... ...some of these, hopefully. I need to reload, though, because the Lost are going to respawn. The road makes this one weary. Thankfully, the narrator has a grappling hook. The sparkling eyes of youth. The match is struck. Right. I'm gonna go for killing the vipers. A closer look, perhaps. Okay, no, it's not an actual explosion. Yeah, Vipers tend to heavily prioritize binding targets. They really like bondage. Um, and as a result, with missions in the Lost, they tend to get distracted by the Lost very easily. Um, which makes them much less dangerous than normal. I do wish I had the money, or the alloys, to get the upgrade for the Skirmisher's weapon, though. Alright, Eminem. You get another shot. Not too shabby. Okay. I will just have him push forward now. I can handle that. If we want to get more crates, we're gonna have to move up. I'm gonna take some pot shots with my pistol. The dasher. Yeah, I can see chat, Crimson Matrix. Did you see that one? You know that was good. Uh, flanking shot on a Viper. Seventy-eight percent chance to hit, high damage, high crit chance. You missed. Got damage, Zargo. No, I guess not. Zargo, you suck. Don't be ridiculous. We tried to warn them. Wouldn't you like to get one of these blood samples under a microscope? X 
Excellent. You can't be serious. Am Can't I a VTuber or just a profile along? pick? It's just a profile pick. Alright. The shot on the lost... ...should be free. 94%. Okay, good narrator. A singular strike at the very precipice of oblivion. God, none of you guys can hit. Reloaded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Reload. I could throw a grenade, but... Grenades are awkward, because... How the mighty have fallen. You have an excellent eye. No problem, boss. Mm, I'll just have to reload. A momentary abatement. Uh, you. Okay. Shieldbearer, Spectre, Stun Lancer. Not seen because Kleiner. Sure, just grenaded that Viper. I'm not too worried about getting a ton of supplies from this run, though. Like, I'll get what I can, but if it doesn't work out, it's fine. I'm hoping they target the Viper and not me. Her model's currently glitched. Okay. Narrator, it's your chance to redeem yourself. 100% hit chance. Go. The victory. 94% hit chance. Go. Point. A decisive pummeling. must give hope to get it. Take the shot, Eminem. Okay. Well, how about that? Then I'll have you reload. And pop a cap Back in that Viper with your pistol. Okay, there we go. Did you see that one? Gisago. Okay, now I can move the narrator up there. Mark that supply crate. Now, but where did it come from? Damn it, he's just a little bit short of being able to get both supply crates. If his grappling hook was off cooldown, he could have gotten both. Damn it. Look ahead. Supplies are replenished. Kleiner's still out of ammo. Should probably just have him move forward and strike this Viper. I need to push forward. Each has their own way. Oh, yeah! I'll have Robotnik flashbang these three. How about this? Should buy me a little time. Okay, and then one, two, three, five, six. Thank God. Ah, it's you, Bismarck. Kleiner needs to reload at some point, though, unfortunately. Really? He can do his shield thing with... Damn it. 
I thought disorienting him would stop it. Because it turns most... Um, abilities off cooldown. Fuck. This is going to trigger a Lost Swarm, but I need to destroy this guy's cover. Burn! Burn to ashes! Okay, on the bright side, they're over there and not over here. Hopefully, they'll get distracted with all those units. I'd like to go what happened to Lawnmower. Uh, I just stopped for the day and moved on to play something else because I just wanted to do something else. The narrator out for a turn. Put the narrator up here. So I could. I know what I could do. Take the grappling off cooldown for a while, I but I could. Uh... Yeah, it was just a lot of farming. No, fuck it, I'll move the narrator up here. Fino needs to reload. Hopefully these lost will keep him distracted for a bit. I will begin. I don't know whether they're gonna dash towards me or not. Kill the close ones just in case. As I expected. The dashers. Wouldn't you like to get one of these blood samples under a microscope? Oh, this one too. Oh, I missed. Never mind. What the hell is going on with our equipment? Jizogo's aim is just not very good. I mean, he's a low-level unit. I want to kill that shield bearer. In cold blood. Bro, stop stealing my units! You can't get any worse than this. Do I like dark jokes? Uh, the answer to that question is probably going to be no. Uh. Oh, wait, what? I didn't know they could do that. God, they panic you too? God damn. Takes two soldiers out of my fight in one action? Didn't there, you I can just get a line of sight on the Spectre. If I can hit this shot. Okay, a 10 crit. I move Eminem in. I need 4 damage. Shit. I 
Alright. I believe in him. He's the real Slim Shady. Nice. Okay. Not too shabby. That takes Robotnik back up. Can I get... Fuck. I might be able to get that last crate with the narrator. If I grapple here and then run straight down there, I think I could grab it. But first, I need to clean up this situation. Because things are real messy down here. I'm unstoppable. They're gonna keep attacking that stun lancer. Um, actually, I don't think any of these guys are really a threat right now. Um, let me just. Yeah, I'll reload. You exist? I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. I'll take the narrator forward, try to get that last crate. Okay, we can get it. Watch your step. Oh wait, I could just keep shooting them. That's, that is a dasher as well. I should kill him. That was an idiotic move, moron. Of course, you missed the one on the shot on the one that actually matters. You're making me look bad. <sighs> I'm gonna need to recruit more soldiers soon. These guys are gonna be out of the fight as well, I think. For a few days while they recover. Jizargo is at least. He's super stressed right now. That's the last of the supply crates in this area. Menace one five, you're clear for evac. We got what we came for, so don't take any unnecessary chances out there. I'll kill you. Not many could pull that off. I love how full of themselves, Kajito. It may be dead now, but where did it come from? Are you excited to see what's in there? <laughs> that takes care of that. I am. I am excited to see what's in there. There's a laser sight. I love getting gifts. Yeah, I mean, pretty mid joke. Not gonna lie. Fifty-five enemies work. killed. Fifty-five enemies killed. Oh, that's a cute pose. What is Eminem doing down there? Is Jizargo stepping on him? Hold on. Jizargo is. Jizargo is stepping on him. When did this game come out? Uh, mid 2010s, maybe like 2016. Okay, I think I'll do one more mission, and I'll call it there for the day. As if things weren't bad enough between the everyone got promotions though armies and the chosen now we've got zombies to deal with uh I like reflex um but the grenade oh extra utility slot is really good especially if I get that in combination with the grenade I'll think about it I like demolition especially for the lost missions because you can't really use explosives there um Take running gun. And then M and M. Pistol. Because squad site kinda sucks. Pistol, because squad site kinda sucks. Bond available. Finer and Eggman. Commander, please thank our troops for completing. Uh, okay, we got a lot of alloys from that. Task in acquiring the codex brain. 
We'll we don't have enough soldiers to recruit a full squad. Okay. Uh, let's recruit we some people. Check with resistance HQ for new uh, the Demo Man, Lunatic Cultist, Dio, Gilgamesh, Hunter, Green Lizard, uh, the Tenth Doctor, Bounty, Shadow, and Night Solaire. You saw the same thing How many soldiers do we need to field a... So now you should understand why I've kept we should recruit at least two people. All this time. The aliens offered up miracle cures, and they weren't lying. Death does mm. cure all ailments. I'll get Dio and Shadow. Oh, V1 though. I gotta get V1. New orders, Commander. Okay, we have enough stuff to get these upgrades now, thankfully. Uh you lived in one of the colonies for a few years before linking up to Central, right? Yes. Yeah, that's one obvious. of the advantages of working with Advent. On the surface, it was very comfortable. But there was a price. Yo, the, and Eggman. the millions of people in those cities don't seem to mind all that much. Yeah. Okay. But Advent... Back to it. Uh, Avatar? Oh, we killed a Codex. That's right. I forgot about that. The creature your troops defeated here was clearly of some importance to the aliens, Commander. Let us hope that the recovered remains prove equally important to our own efforts. I need intel. I need a lot of intel. Do I have a radio relay anywhere? Mmm, mm, fuck. Avenger plotting new course. I'll go for these alloys because we already started scanning them. We have some progress on it. Okay, our units are coming off from their injuries. It's good. Maximum power consumption power relay. I need a power relay. Initiated. Uh. Actually, I'm gonna move Doctor Oak, Professor Oak, uh, to clearing up this machinery instead, so we have another slot to build in. Because the power is not gonna do anything until we have another place to build something. I think you will find our results have exceeded Mimic beacon? Mimic beacon! Illyrium, Viper Autopsy. Is there another what world does Illyrium do? Filled with the Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both... I suppose I should go for Illyrium if we got it inspired. I think that's half speed. I don't know what Illyrium unlocks, though. Illyrium generator upgrade? Unsettling. Invasion error reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing is readily apparent to this. That reminds me of a dentist. To say the least, that the subject so often uh, referred to in the past as the oh, okay, we can upgrade our medkits. Has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this wholly reptilian creature. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a Foss report bomb. assembled as Foss soon bomb. as the research is complete. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen okay. now. We haven't encountered the Chosen yet. High hopes for the resistance under your so ambush leadership. and all cobalt Commander, missions, enemy tech and psionic defense are doubled. Yourself. Black market pays more. I think this is fine. I got that supply drop after I get this. Together, we have succeeded in our task. You're not supposed to hold on. Commander, this isn't right. Based on the success who the fuck is Mickey Bailey? You're not. No. Hold on. No, that's not who that's supposed to be. Why is that? Hold on. Did I mess something up? I need to check something at the main menu. Because that soldier should be someone else. Hold on. Character pool. Isn't no significant harassment supposed to be a... Yeah, why do they not show up? I'll just copy them. Okay, 
soldiers, you, and then customize haste. Okay, there we go. And then body, no, head, skin color. The Reapers have no interest in leading the world into a new age. Not under my watch, anyway. The, light of the aliens okay. took everything from humanity. Yeah, we there we go. Take it back. It's that simple. No significant. What people choose to do with their lives oh. beyond that point is up to them. Oh wait, I think first name no, last name harassment, middle name significant. Let's promote them. 27 points. Uh, I'll get Harry and Lightning Hands. That's Spider-Man's replacement after Spider-Man died. Uh, okay. A new chance to disrupt the Elder's plans has presented itself, and my followers are eager to proceed. Oh, he had a second Templar. That's weird. I want a second Templar? Guess it couldn't hurt. Uh, let me get an engineer first, though. I'll send Dio and V1 on this mission. Understood, Commander. Stuff to some XP. Will appreciate the actually, hold on. Your soldiers. I was thinking I'd actually turn one of them to a Psy soldier once the time comes, but oh well, it's fine. New facility? No, nah, just Avatar progress. Okay. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. I need intel if we're badly. going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I'm really low on intel. Strategic resource located. Let's go to the supply drop. There we go. There's some intel. Uh, but let's get the supply drop first. Avenger plotting new course. I get intel for this one too. I mean, I gotta go for, for it. South Africa. I really need intel to get over to that um facility to destroy it. Okay. What is my mission here? Neutralize target. Spy's still tired. Since Robotnik's bonded to Kleino, I suppose I should take both of them at the same time. I don't need... Okay, let's make some items. I don't have enough faceless corpses for memory beacons. Let's upgrade the sh... Narrator stuff. Do I have a sniper? I'm not taking a sniper on this mission, so I don't have to upgrade the Shadow Keeper. Um, I could upgrade the Ionic Axe, though, and give that to, uh, Kleiner. Actually, give it to Kleiner or John Wick. Both of them would work. I'll give it to Kleiner. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll let him keep the Skulljack, because it's not much better to have on him. Um, let's make utility items available. I will give Robotnik... A frost bomb. In this grenade don't seem all that powerful, but according to Shen, the liquefied in addition to the uh, flashbang. To an and then I'll give Blue Lizard a med kit. And I still don't have any to really give the narrator. But I can upgrade his weapon at least. Um Hair Trigger's really good. Uh Maybe hair trigger in an expanded magazine? Uh, Blue Lizard has the bolt caster. Probably put an upgrade on Robotnik's weapon too. Uh, auto loaders are good. Peters are good. Uh, expanded magazine? Okay. That looks fine. Okay. 
Let's give it a shot. Neutralize target. We'll probably have to go in, hunt down a VIP. Um, and then either kill or capture them. And get back. And it's probably going to have a time limit. Because these missions usually do. And I have not had good luck with these missions with time limits before. But hopefully... be fine. I should get a second Templo, because one of the Chosen is going to have a weakness against Templos, and having a second one will let me field a second Templo at the same time. Alright. I'm hoping this time we'll have a time-limited mission that is not just an absolute nightmare and, like, everyone dies. Because that's where they've all gone in the past. There's a scanning protocol. Okay, coming turn, I'm going to pop stealth. Um, Here we go. But I'm going to move into location first. Watch your step. Would have liked a weaker, but whatever. I'm gonna use, have Blue Lizard use his bolt caster. I hope I. Oh, this might break stealth doing this. Shit. I do. Okay, now we're good. Yeah, if I ran there, it would have broken stealth. Okay. I can go for the Viper or the Spectre. I'm gonna go for the Spectre. Okay, ten damage crit. I don't like strangers. I have a feeling the Viper will be easier to finish off than the Spectre will. I'll have Kleiner move up and just melee the Viper. Did that reveal a second pod? I did. Shit, where are they? Okay, I can have Robotnik move up and flashbang them. Uh, Kleiner might get shot by the mech, but he can survive a hit from the mech. Uh, okay, if Robotnik moves here, he'll be able to flashbang. Right. Gonna hit both. Is that gonna hit him? Shit. The window's intact. Okay, hold on. I'll have the narrator move here. Flank the specter, shoot it. You might get lucky with the repeater. Or hair trigger. No, okay. Um. I have John Wick run and gun. And then grenade over there. Get me I think this is close enough. Got then you can throw a grenade, blow up the cover on the captain. And then that would allow the flashbang to hit him. Can I just kill the captain? What's my damage like on him? If I got a crit, it would kill him, but that's only a 40% chance to happen. I'm gonna go for the safe play, launch a flashbang. Already. Okay, he's marking John Wick, that's fine. Fortunate, but Blue Lizard has a med kit. Catch him up. Uh, oh shit, he's probably gonna launch rockets at us. Oh no, he's gonna shoot Kleiner. Okay, a lot of damage. Okay. Kleiner, what is the damage like if you throw your axe? 
Okay. I'm gonna have Kleiner finish this guy off. This should kill him. Thank God. Oh, and his hair trigger triggered. Free action. Okay. That means we can move in and slash this officer. Damn it. He's still on one HP. I gotta move in to finish him. Uh what's my odds for justice? 96%, 96%. 96 uh that's basically guaranteed. I'm gonna stun lance or you. Hostile via oh I got line of sight, okay. I'll kill them. Okay. And then I see the VIP. Target I, I see the VIP. Menace one five. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP if possible. Knock them out and bring them in. Okay, I'll move Blue Lizard forward. Reload the bolt caster. Yes, sir. And then I'll have you just justice kill the officer. You missed the 96% shot. Thank you. I really appreciate it. At least hit that one? Okay. Annihilated. Come on, clock's ticking. Alright, we gotta push forward to get that VIP. I do not Except want people in the cities weren't brainwashed enough. Who knows what the aliens are putting in their heads for entertainment? Uh, what are my hack no problem. results for this thing? Guaranteed gained control of a random enemy for two turns. Huh. All right, then. Huh. That is... I'm gonna push Very forward. well. They're coming for us. It's our only way out. I think these are the only enemies left. So now, if I gain control of a random one of these enemies, it'll just be one of them, uh, and it'll give me a massive advantage in this fight. Of course. Let's see if we can't okay, do that. Okay. okay. Let's see which one we get. I hope it's one of these three. Uh, okay, we got the trooper. Uh, okay, I get them next turn. Forward. I can't go too far forward. Uh, oh, his cover's gone. That means that, uh. Robotnik can move in here. Probably won't kill him, but at least hurt him. Oh. Kill the Spectre. Two. Fuck, that's an awkward location he's in. I could knock him to the ground, though. Okay, that's ideal. The trooper got distracted. Oh, distracted the uh that guy. And then if I move him here, I potentially have him blow up. Oh no. 
Nice. Okay. And then he'll bone to death. Um. I can't get close enough to. God damn. I gotta shoot this guy. My odds are pretty good. Okay, 12 damage crit. Big damage. Need to do two more. Uh, bolt cast. Oh, I could uh, combat protocol him. That would kill him. Yes. Uh, you. Okay. The trooper's gonna bone to death, so I don't have to worry about him. And I think that's all the enemies. There might be one more pod, but I think we'll clear to just run forward. Capture the VIP and make our way to the exit. So I'm gonna do that. Didn't you just ask me that? Worst case, I could have Robotnik give an extra action to Kleiner. If he's caught in a bad position here. Okay, no, good to move forward. I need to move it. Look to the horizon and lament. An opportunity to grieve on the law. I right. beat him up. <laughs> Status confirmed. Target package in custody. Have you ever seen anything like this? Let's make oh, sure there's yeah. nothing else up here. I think the path yes. is clear. Everyone? I think that's everyone. Okay, reinforcements coming in. I can't rush to the evac. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. But if I were to um push all my soldiers forward, then I could evac um the coming turn. Because they won't attack me the turn they get called down. You can make it. I could actually get some free uh -huh. XP if I move my uh, soldiers up to Overwatch shots, though. Got them covered. I'm gonna move Blue Lizard forward just to make As sure. You say, it will happen. I'm gonna find him all the way out. Do here. hurry. Really moving at the pace that I would expect an elderly scientist to be moving at. An uninvited guest. Help. Nice shot. Excuse me. Get everyone to the evac zone. Yeah. Finer first, because they have the VIP. I hope no one. This is Firebrand. Me. VIP is secure. I'm accelerating. I can shoot and then evac, because you can evac even if you don't have the actions. So I'll try to get some uh, XP by killing things. Similarly. Mm, that would probably cause him to explode. Alright, I killed him. A singular strike. Get out. Let's get John Wick and Blue Lizard in. Very well. I don't know if using a med kit will reduce John Wick's recovery time, but I'll try. I forget how that works. Okay. 
finally, we had a time-limited VIP mission that did not just end Status with most of our soldiers dying. Rest in peace, Spider-Man, Rivulet, and Scout's Many Moshes. I think that'll be it for the day. I'll probably be back to uh, Lawnmower only tomorrow, and I'm going to do some farming off-stream for the uh, tattered cloth from the Goblin Scouts. And I'll probably end a lot of streams with just like a mission or two in XCOM. Um, Until it is done, there can be no other path for us. Let me get Total Combat, because Total Combat Tactical Vigging. Really helpful. Hello, Commander. Okay. Save and exit. And uh yeah. Bye everyone.